what's up it's tori and who's ready to be petty we have the very first ever bonus episode of ready to be petty and i'm so happy to be joined by robin and mason hello hello, hello. i didn't know we were bonus that's awesome yeah okay this is our very first full like recap episode where we're just like diving deep into the bachelorette i love it i'm so excited I'm me too it. me too because i find that not everyone's a fan there's a, gonna be a separate podcast so if yeah. you're not interested see you later but you're Move really along. missing out <laughs> yeah you're gonna miss out on the best content <laughs> okay i think that robin and mason are absolutely perfect for this episode because well, A, we have a side, like, group chat called The Bitchlorettes. And mm-hmm. we used to quite regularly have watch parties. I've mentioned them on the podcast before. Yes, yeah. About we how we all, <laughs> like, spoiled this, the, whose season was that, Ari's? Or? No, that was no. the, that was Colton's season. We all looked up the, the oh, winner. No, maybe it was Becca's season. We looked yeah. up the winner ahead of time. Yeah. And we were upset that it was Garrett. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> But it was like all at the same time, and I thought that was really funny. And Robin always calls me out for being a, a Nick Vi- Vial truther. Ugh, yeah. <laughs> Which, yeah. Kate, I've actually you even changed say Vial so that you don't say Vial, vial. even I though we all know he's Vial. He's Kate, vial. I have officially, sorry that this is already on a tangent, like a minute and 30 <laughs> in, and we're just, we're right there. But I've actually changed my mind. He is a like a fucking trash bag. Welcome. Yeah. yeah it's great know. being on this side. He's actually a piece of shit. I watched like probably <laughs> like, like probably like eight episodes of his podcast. And then mm-hmm. I was just like, I'm out. Like, like I'm still, I don't think he's 100% evil, but he's definitely evil. Like he's yeah. like, I wouldn't say evil, but like gross, kind of. Yeah. He's gross. He's a he's fuck gross. boy. He's one hundred percent a thirty-six year old fuck boy. Yeah, it's like you should have grown up by now. <laughs> I know. I'm like, yeah, I'm age shaming you a tiny bit just because your behavior <laughs> sounds like you're in, in yeah. college. At yeah. a certain point, it's like get your life together. Like, yeah. Any time. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. But yeah, so we have a side a side group chat called the Bitchlorettes where we send each other bachelor related memes, which is, <laughs> which is a good time so i was very happy to have them on the pod and then i realized that mason is from alabama yes <laughs> and people are probably like why is that important it's because i live in canada yes in a on a vancouver island i was gonna say a tiny island because i try to make it sound like we're in like hawaii or something <laughs> no we're we not. have grocery stores and we have all the things <laughs> yeah it's not like that at all but yeah he is straight up from alabama so. i am i am from birmingham alabama yeah so, so this is perfect to have him because like there's so many Alabama connections. Yes, roll tide. Have you ever been to Tuscal- Tuscaloosa? Many times I have been to Tuscaloosa, yes. Oh it's my god. Where the University of Alabama is, so that's like the place to go on the weekends. Oh my gosh. Have you been to Ramajamas or whatever? Yes. Where? <laughs> <laughs> have you really? Yeah. It's like oh my gosh. a very famous restaurant. I don't, I like have been there once. It's yeah. not really where you go all the time. But, yeah. yeah. It seemed like the diner, like one of those diners that become like popular. And yeah. Pe- like tourists go and stuff yeah, like that. Exactly. Yeah. 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 But it's delicious. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been to Tuscaloosa sure. many, many times. That's so <laughs> funny. And like, I didn't even include this in, like, how lucky am I? What a great podcast catch. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> what a good, like, host that I locked yes. down this exclusive interview <laughs> with like an ultra special the, like, guest the one guy that lives on vancouver <laughs> island that also lived in alabama <laughs> no but like straight up yeah i think i might be the only one right yeah i think that's true i think so i love that that's your claim to fame do yes. you is that annoying that that's all we talk about no i don't mind <laughs> i like being special <laughs> good this does make you very special yeah well is there anything else you guys want to chat about before we like jump into this we want to talk a bit more about Alabama. And we do the news stuff from Alabama. Absolutely, recently. I think that it would be a disservice if we didn't, and I yeah. feel like it would be weird if we didn't. I yeah. agree. I think yeah. that we should yeah. probably clear the air in the room. Yes, because there's been some some large news and some very negative news out of the state of Alabama, which unfortunately is not surprising with the state of Alabama. Mm-hmm. Uh, they have some pretty deep conservative politics let's say yeah that are troubling and sad in many ways Mm -hmm. so exhausting to learn about yeah Yeah, it is exhausting and i'm noticing that so many people not just americans are like weighing in on this issue which i think is really interesting like that it seems like it's gone 
cross borders and like oh, around the world of like this is like a human right human rights concern yeah yeah definitely and i think that's getting global attention which is i think good because i think that there needs to be a spotlight shined on this issue and yeah like just like clarify we're talking about the abortion law that alabama yeah. just passed do you want to is... give us like a little like summary just yeah. for those un- i know that no one's uninitiated who's listening <laughs> to this podcast but just in case yeah. you are, do you want to give us a little summary it's been all over the news recently but just kind of in a nutshell to wrap it up it's the most strict abortion law that's passed in the states recently there's been a whole slew of anti-abortion laws that have passed in numerous states since the supreme court shifted to a more conservative leaning um, with the hope of overturning roe v wade eventually Um, but alabama's law is the most severe by far i would say Mm -hmm. Uh, it is directly impacting women and doctors that want to help women Mm -hmm. Uh, the kind of big notes on it are that the exception for rape and incest is not included which generally gets included uh, and was not included specifically to make the law more harsh so that it's more likely to go to the supreme court and that the time served in prison for anybody that gets an abortion or helps uh, perform an abortion is more so than what yeah. somebody would get if they raped somebody and were convicted of that and so that is just it's awful. insane it's horrific yeah, yeah it's it so is really up. horrific yeah Oops, can we swear on the podcast? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Too late, absolutely. you already went all the way with the f bomb. You're just yeah. like, fuck that, I'm no, done. it is very fucked up. Yeah. yeah. 100%, it's fucked up. Yeah, yeah. It is fucked yeah. up. And yeah. It's, yeah, it's Isn't not a great time. Isn't also a thing where, with this law, if someone were to miscarry, it would be considered, like, second-degree murder or that something That actually like that? is the Georgia law. Okay. So Georgia oh. passed a law literally the day before yeah. the Alabama law passed. And that is the one where they have repercussions for miscarriages. If it's an, if they can prove that the miscarriage was done on purpose oh or if they goodness. leave the state for an abortion or if they right. try to uh, yes. if they perform an abortion themselves. Right. So they're the Georgia law is the one that has specifics about that in it, which again fucked up yeah all of these laws are fucked up yes it's like well if you don't have was another state that just passed another what they're calling the heartbeat laws which is just like absolutely it's like posting this like nice sounding thing on just an absolutely terrible oh i that's my fucking biggest pet peeve is when people try to attach it with life and heartbeats and like yes like when that's just and... not what it is. No, yeah. no, it's not. And ugh, that just gives me like the skeevies. Yeah, it, yeah, it's definitely the worst. And especially because it's like if they actually care about that, they would invest in like childcare yeah. or schooling or yeah. any of the supports, family planning Supporting services, foster care. And yeah, and, yeah, like adoption and, and yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And yeah, like, and clearly safe they don't abortions. Care. Yeah. Like that's another thing. It's like well, people wouldn't have to perform b- abortions themselves if they had access to healthcare where it was supported by the government and there was no stigma around it and stuff like that like it's literally putting and women science, in a box yeah and but like science-based sex education and not just you know yes. abstinence only yeah. it's just like not education absolutely yeah. it's it it's a system yeah. that's it fucked yeah. up yeah. and it's alabama still has abstinence only sex education in public schools and i know because that was my sex education in public yeah. schools abstinence only with our wrestling coach in the boys locker room and it was weird things yeah. got weird it was not good education <laughs> i learned nothing that sounds like literally the like movie version of sex ed it was yeah. worse somehow well, i don't know <laughs> literally mine was the same like i like i remember getting sex ed in probably grade nine phys ed and it was like watch this movie from the 70s about harassment and people are just like laughing that they pronounced ha- harassment and harassment <laughs> <Yes>. and not <laughs> actually thinking about like sexualized violence and bullying and harassment and then it's like literally the only thing that I remember from sex ed in my high school was like about um like STIs and Mm -hmm. like it was just so fucked up it was that scene from Mean Girls where it's like if you will have sex you will get an STI and and die die. or you will get pregnant and die all right now take some rubbers yeah yeah (laughs) 
Oh my god, it's so crazy. But yeah, it's really, really sad. And I really appreciate that so many people are doing really good work and awareness and donating time and money um, and calling their senator. I don't know yep. the US I called terms. the Alabama governor before she signed the law, Kay mm-hmm. Ivey. Did you? I did on my lunch break on nice. Thursday. Nice. Uh, but the switchboard was down because so many people were calling, so that's nice. Good. Um, so I sent her an email saying, Hi, I am an Alabama resident. I kind of lied on that one. Uh, and <laughs> Semi. I don't think you should sign this law. I know I'm just screaming into the void. Please, 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 please see reason. And then I just sent that off. So I sent. I just like copied and pasted that and sent it like five or six times. Because it's just like a form. You just like click a button. So like, yeah. I just sent it like, like a couple times. Nice. Well, thank um, you. Well, yeah. And she still signed it. So, you know, again, screaming into the void. But you, I, I feel like that you have to not get jaded about that stuff though because like eventually it might work absolutely it's like recycling like you can't be jaded that you're the one person that's like composting like you you still have to do it (laughs) (laughs) like one person like if everyone littered like yeah yeah so i totally get that yeah if and i i just want to we were talking about this also of like people that are like annoyed when people like politicize things and stuff like that that's not I hate when people weaponize that or, like, Mm. make it Mm. a negative thing. Like, this is, like I said before, like, really a human rights concern. And if you have a platform, even if it's tiny, like, ready to be petty, like, especially if we're talking about Alabama, like, you have to talk about this type of stuff. Like, Like, it would just be, I feel like, the elephant in the room. Which, honestly, when I was watching The Bachelorette, I felt like it was like an elephant in the room, which I know obviously they, they, they're not going to comment on yeah. it. Yeah. And also it, I think they filmed before that was happening. Yeah, right? they filmed yeah. like three months ago Also, I think it's my duty as a person from Alabama to point out that the University of Alabama's mascot is an elephant. So Oh, yeah, it's it a is literal the literal elephant It is in the, the room. University of Alabama yeah. elephant in the room. Yeah, Can we also tide. just talk about <laughs> the fact that the team name is the Crimson Tide and Mason never made a connection between the Crimson Tide and a period? That's until- he straight up, here. <laughs> that's straight up like a euphemism for period. Yeah, yeah, you can't see my face right now, but yeah. I am shook to my core as I was the first time I found this out. Yeah, I lived my literal entire life until I was 19 years old saying Crimson Tide all the time. It's like on bumper stickers. Yes, that's they have a it period. painted on their stadium. There's like restaurants named after it. Yeah. There's like ev- all kinds of merchandise. It's Never nice. clicked with me. Or anybody from the state of Alabama, I think. So clearly, actually, they did not have any women on the naming committee. <laughs> yeah, clearly. clearly, and they not. also don't have any women on this government committee yeah. that's <laughs> signing these laws. So. I guess the one uh, stereotype that. of Alabama yeah. is that we are, maybe aren't as bright <laughs> as we should be. <laughs> and that was something also um, Mason mentioned prior at the in the pre-show of the pod that he wanted to mention that there's tons of people in Alabama that still oppose this law and are Mm pro-choice and uh, are doing lots of work and supporting Planned Parenthood. And yeah, Yeah, and we want to try giving to those organizations and give to Planned Parenthood and ACLU and the Yellowhammer Fund, which is a fund in Alabama specifically that helps fund pro-choice initiatives and education. So... Um, the Yellowhammer Fund is a, a good one to give money to if you're going, if you feel so inclined. Yeah. Um, if you're feeling really upset about this Alabama law, like they're doing a lot of good work. So. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I think that's great. Well, let's, let's, how can you move on after that? But we're going to move on to something You just say little... Roll Tide and move on. Yeah, Roll Tide. Alabama way. <laughs> I know. If... Roll Tide, which is Roll the Crimson Tide because the oh, Crimson God. Tide rolls over. <laughs> I feel like I need to tell the story of how the Crimson Tide came into being. Yeah. It was right. because a radio announcer back in like 19, whatever, like 10, it's not that long ago, but a long, long time ago. When Paul Bear Bryant, who was like their first football coach, that was like the best football coach ever. Right, of course. Uh, there's a radio announcer that said that the football team rolled over the opponents like a crimson tide oh. because their color is crimson and they were so good that they just like rolled over a team and it seemed inevitable like a tide. And so the name Crimson Tide stuck from that. Again, there was not a single woman within probably 100 miles of that situation. <laughs> yeah. 
so <laughs> oh here we God. are. Yeah, and it's stuck. 2019. Yeah. Roll Tide. Yeah. It's like literally so ready because you're describing this. I know this is stereotypical and I'm so sorry, but it just sounds like every American like high school fucking football movie I've ever <laughs> watched. They're <laughs> actually all based on Alabama. I bet. I fucking bet. Yeah, I no. know. That's why I love it. But I'm glad that if there's stereotypes, you can help like open our mind and <laughs> <laughs> yeah some of us escape to canada and become socialists it's, yeah. <laughs> it's a great time oh my god yeah well i don't know maybe someone from alabama is listening and maybe they will yeah maybe yeah. if this law actually does pass maybe they'll yeah. need to leave so yeah yeah, definitely. yeah well let's talk about alabama hannah alabama hannah Kate, okay, and like Alabama Hannah and Hannah B is now just Hannah. She yeah. Yeah. She, she just the, is Hannah. Yeah, she got the uh, the initial dropped from her name, which I think like I would be stoked on. Like I was like one of a few, and because like wasn't she like one of four Hannahs or something like that? Something oh, like that. Yeah, there was yeah. a lot of them. And then even at the end, she wasn't even the last Hannah on the show. Oh yeah, no, she it was wasn't. Hannah G. Hannah G was like yeah. the, who was also from Alabama. I will oh say, yes. she was from Birmingham, so like oh my both God. of them. So it was like kind of weird too that Alabama, like Alabama Hannah, yeah. like, is the one that got associated with that when they're both from Alabama. Hannah. Yeah, but I guess like Hannah has that like thick twangy accent and that's stuff like true. that. And she so was like, Miss Alabama. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. She's like the prototype, She's I guess, of a what. pageant queen. But she wasn't even the only pageant queen. She really didn't have anything that was like her. I know, because Kaylin was too. And I think they actually mentioned that Hannah G was too, which is like oh, man. Also, so Also, I just want to correct you because she did have something that was hers and it was beast mode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I just didn't want to talk about beast mode. I know. I was like, we that would be the it. worst thing to like no event so like i was horrified that that was like the worst thing <laughs> like i would be so pissed if my name was associated to that like yeah. war thing she that's actually it, yeah she liked it and i think she embraced it and the guys didn't seem to mind that but okay but before we get into that what were your initial thoughts on hannah b i was a little nervous about her starting yeah. just when we were watching like the the after the final rose yes and she was unscripted and meeting those guys and it was just so awkward it was so awful she needed a producer so bad there and they just it was really awkward to watch and i was like i don't think i'm gonna like this and then when we watched it um the first episode with her i turned around surprisingly me quickly. too like me in too. that first little intro um they kind of, it was a little cheesy at the beginning, like, she's so real and honest. And I was like, yeah. okay. But then she did, like, that cute dance class with the little kids. That was so just, cute. Like, it was so relatable when she was walking through the field and they were filming her. And she was just like, I don't know what to do with my hands. And I was I like, same that. girl. Yes. <laughs> that was so cool. I thought that that was really cute that they included that in the B-roll. Yeah. Because I think that that's why I, like, quickly switched to really liking her is because, a lot of the girls or the previous bachelorettes, like we just watched that reunion, or at least I did. <laughs> did I not just oh, yeah. sewer you guys. Ooh. We didn't watch the yeah. reunion. We yeah. didn't do our homework. All right. Yeah, I guess this is the ready to be petty treat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah. It's fine. No, no, not, not at all. But like, it really was like, wow, these girls are like perfect. The role models, like, they're what every girl wants to be like. And I actually like that they're like, no, Hannah's super hashtag relatable. Like, yeah. I actually really like that. And I'm really surprised. I was the same. Pretty out on her. Pretty surprised. Wasn't even going to watch this season. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I basically watched every single Bachelor and Bachelorette and, like, their spinoffs. Mm-hmm. Um, and I turned so quickly. And usually I yeah. am, like, once I have an opinion on something, it's, like, <laughs> very hard to, like, switch my mind. But it was... It was almost instantaneous. Yeah. 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 What about you? It's kind you? of funny though. Like, <laughs> sorry to get you. No, 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 you go, go ahead. ahead. Well, you have feelings. Go ahead. Yeah. I was just going to say it's kind of funny because I feel the same way I felt at the beginning of Colton's season because when they picked him to be The Bachelor, I was like, nope. And then yeah. we watched the first couple episodes and then it's like, oh, you know what? He's actually not bad. And he's been one of my faves in the last, like, quite a few seasons. So yeah. I feel like maybe they're kind of picking better people now or something. I don't know. Yeah, I think yeah. they're picking different people because I think that Nick 
and Ari had a very similar vibe. Yeah, and like controversial. Like, yeah. Yeah. But like also like their personalities were very similar where yeah. they were kind of like playboys. Yeah, a little bit. Like you An could old... tell that they were kind <laughs> no, of like sorry. a like they were like, oh I'm ready to settle down now kind yeah. of vibe where it's like, oh then you were just like fucking around before now and now you're like, now I'm taking it seriously. And it's like, no, now you're like you need to make money so you're gonna go on TV. Like it just like felt that way. Yeah. And then Colton kind of came on and it was much more of like a I think he just, like, didn't know how to date and, like, didn't know nope. how to do anything. He was like, this is as good an option as any and, like, why not? Like, he I'm going to go for authentic. it. authentic. Yes, yeah, exactly. very sincere. Yeah. Like, he, like, that's what I almost liked. Like, Ben Higgins and stuff was, mm. like, so polished. Yeah. And so, like, that it wasn't relatable. Like, I kind of like when they're like, fuck, I'm the lead now. Yeah. I'm going to have to step up in ways that I, like, didn't yeah. step up before. And Becca whatever. and Rachel were both super duper polished bachelorettes. So yes, they polished. Were. They were really, really, really good. Yes. But, like, in a way that was, like, they were very much, like, oh, to the T, what a bachelorette, like, for yes. the show was supposed to do. Yes. And then yes. I think Hannah just feels like... It's more of like a loose cannon wild card yeah, type of situation. Like is, I literally yeah. like before it was like when they do like the previews and everything and it's like okay that's like seriously like manufactured drama and yep. like there it's going to be that kind of stuff like they, there has to be because it's TV. But with Hannah like I kind of feel like it's actually real because I know, like I they know. don't even know what she's going to do. I like know. she can just like kind of go for it. I so know. I mean and we it, already saw that a bit in the first episode. Yes. Like, there was definitely I mean, the whole, maybe I'm jumping ahead here, but no, the no. whole, like, thing where the guy had a girlfriend, like, clearly yeah. that was set up because they had Demi and Katie, like, talk, like, yes. it was clearly set up, but Hannah's reaction still felt so real. Like, she didn't, it didn't look like she knew. She was, like, so pissed. She was and, pissed. like, cl- clearly showed it, right? Yeah, so. and you could tell she, like, knew what she had to do. Like, I want to hear you out, but I'm probably going to ask you to leave. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the, the way that she spoke... Yeah, okay, we'll get into that later, but I think that you're right, is that she's, like, authentic, and I think, Mason, like, what you captured was right, too, like, in the preview, when she's, like, crying and stuff like that, it seems like it's over, like, legitimate things, Mm -hmm. like, it doesn't seem like it's manufactured, like, oh, this guy's girlfriend shows up, or, like, this date upset her for some reason, like... Yeah, her crying also seems super authentic, and I will say... She's very beautiful, and this is like kind of petty, but it's because she's kind of an ugly crier. Like you can tell, like she's <laughs> yeah, she's going in for her. Yeah. Cries. Yes, and I feel like ugly criers are like authentic criers. Yeah, like 100%. people that just have like a few tears. I'm like, you probably that's fake, and yeah. you had to like that's just eye drops. Yeah, yeah. it's eye drops. Like 100%. you like had to like work like like really make yourself try- cry. Where I yeah. feel like uh, ugly criers, you have this release that you're just like. Because I'm an ugly crier, so. I'm sorry, I'm just thinking of when in <laughs> Rachel's season when she and... Oh, my God. Uh, what's his name? Peter. Peter. Yeah, he showed her, like, eyelashes. Eyelashes fall off, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, oh, my God. I was like, how many yeah. times have I cried off eyelashes? <laughs> like, like, it's sad. Yeah, like, those it was eyelashes sad. were to heaven, though. They were huge. So funny. I know, I know. Oh, my God. She looked really good. She I did. I'm, like, really over the first night sparkle dress where it's just, like, a long... <laughs> sparkle dress yeah that you got from like it looks like a prom dress like it does. kind of thing it does but she looked really good she yeah looked so good. she did she looked really really good yeah but it does yeah. look a little, bit, a little bit like a prom dress it didn't help that the rest of the guy that showed up in the white tux and like oh really my god sent home the look there that was i was like you look like a groom okay again yeah, like, we will get, get out into of here. that but yeah. i was like this is heinous <laughs> like it was so bad i was fucking pissed at that i know like, it was <laughs> so bad it was like come on man you gotta have some fashion but no i think like overall i'm excited about hannah Me too. i think she's gonna be a really good bachelorette i think that she is going to be different than things that we've seen yeah and i'm not just like saying that like chris harrison says that where he's like this is the most different yes. season ever it's i like, actually i actually do feel that. different about this one it's same and unfortunately i also have seen not unfortunately i'm gonna own it i have also seen like all of the bachelor and bachelorette <laughs> and bachelorette spinoffs so oh yeah yeah, 100%. I love that. Yeah, I I watched, obviously, like, I would have been, like, 10 when the first one came out or whatever. Yeah. But, like, 
it's only in the last like five seasons or like maybe ten seasons where I've done like yeah. deep dives. Yeah. Like I'm Watch looking every at all. Episode yeah, and, and like doing the recaps online yeah. and yes. like looking at the drama. I think it was Ben yeah. Higgins' season that we kind of like jumped. It like blew yeah, up. Yeah. That, that is I the agree. One. And yeah. then we watched The Bachelor in Paradise after that, and yeah. then from there it was kind of like we were on the Bachelor. It's like yeah. you yeah. have we to be yeah. because if you get off, then you miss stuff. For yeah, the next you don't know season. who. Yeah. Yeah, how are you going to know who Chad is? Yes, and oh like, God, I Chad. hate, like, they got I mean, a built-in audience. <laughs> yeah, like, Chad fucking douche yeah. Like I'm like, yes, you're right, he was a douche Hey, but that actually, you bring up a really good point, Mason, Um, that I also thought that it was really different this season, that they didn't, like, really dwell on that she was, like, heartbroken yeah. from the previous season, yeah. which I really point. thought was refreshing, because I fucking hate when they have those tropes of, like, Becca was completely destroyed when Ari dumped her, yeah. and like to she, be fair, that was a messed up. Yeah. Yes, like yeah, at, yeah, like yeah. she she had every right to but be they destroyed. Just, <laughs> but like, no, but they do that every season though, where yeah. it's like they. I think like Rachel's was even worse because it was like okay, but like that wasn't really that. Bad and she of got dumped by no. Nick, so it was like, yeah, like she didn't care. Care, basically. Yeah, you dodged yeah. a bullet not yes. being with Nick, and now yes. you get to go on the show. Like I, you're not heartbroken. You're yes. Like, I, I actually get just side note. I'm actually like so pumped that I'm on the Nick Vial hate train. <laughs> like it actually feels fucking good. <laughs> also, who did he end up with again? Uh, think... Vanessa from Montreal. Vanessa. Oh, yeah. But they were oh, they, they broke, broke up, up like a year afterwards. If that. Yeah, if that like six months or something like that. Oh yeah, I don't think they made the full year mark yeah does that Kate, mean they don't get to keep the ring they no have to stay together just for like three two, years two years yeah Ooh. yeah so caitlin bristow got to keep hers that's nice yeah and jillian harris i think she didn't make it to the two years but she definitely still has it <laughs> <laughs> neil lane oh uh, well <laughs> anyways, anyways they may have changed the rules because of, because of her true like, they might have okay let's get into these Boys, um, I have to say, like, honestly, already, I think this is a lackluster cast. Yeah. My initial thoughts yes. are, like, fucking boring. I, I have know. a lot of notes that are just, like, boring, 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 boring or I was boring, trying boring, to find boring. something interesting to say about them, but I'm like, I don't care about this guy. Like, it's bad when I couldn't write down stuff for people. Yeah. Like, yeah. we took, you guys, we took so many fucking notes like I wish I took this many notes in you university. <laughs> so see if you can hear me turning the pages yes. on all of my bachelorette notes that I have taken. Yes, I love it. Like I have like a fucking three-page word doc, <laughs> and I like there are some people like it's sad when you meet someone and you like literally can't even write down one word to describe what they're doing. No. Yeah. Except boring. I literally wrote one word <laughs> yeah. for some of them, and it was boring. Yeah. Or, Mateo, boring. Got a rose. <laughs> Tyler, yeah, meh. I wrote huge with three U's chin. He has a huge <laughs> chin. Just a huge chin. Oh some of them I just wrote down, like, what their lame joke was. Like, yeah. Hunter is, was just, like, a, made a tie the knot joke. Like, Ryan was, was bad. roller boy. The roll that was so tie. bad. Roller, roller boy with, like, five question marks. That's all I wrote. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. What let's, does this mean? Okay. okay sorry, I, let's, go through let's walk through, like, yes. let's walk through the people. I did think that they chose good ones for the intro packages. The intro packages. Yes. 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 Let's go through those. Yeah. The first one, I think, was Taylor or Tyler. Tyler C. Tyler C. Okay, Tyler C. I was shocked that he got the first intro package because he doesn't seem like the type of person that's gonna last long. No, no he does not seem like also, he's gonna last long. Also, he said, and I quote, "Me and Kevin Bacon are offspring." What the fuck does that mean? I don't know. Your dancing <laughs> is gonna, not gonna. It was so bad. It was yeah. so bad. He looked kind of stoned the whole time too. <laughs> like I don't know if you noticed, but he was just kind of like standing in the back, looking a little stony, just kind of like. Wow, man, this legal weed in California is <laughs> dope. I love this. Where was he even from? Florida. Oh, Jupiter, okay. Florida. Oh, he no. just sounded really bored <laughs> the whole time. He did sound really bored the whole time. Yeah. I think that he could be one of those people that are just like, I'm here for the adventure. Let's yeah. see. What, like, I've got nothing going on in my life. Like, I will yeah, say that I think he's going to go, I said middle far. I wrote down like my... My ranking, oh, nice. my like power ranking yes. of all the, the dudes. Yeah. I will also say that I, just historically across the board, 
Bachelorette is always a little bit less fun for me to watch because I, I, I like the men are just always so boring. No, like, the women, women are so dynamic. Just like in life, women are better than men <laughs> in every way. I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna. Are you? I, that? Yeah. <laughs> like, don't, I mean, don't. it's just a fact. Where's the lie? <laughs> Okay, so he's a construction manager. I did write down, this is weird though, I put hot with an exclamation point. I, okay, Robin it was the first one. He's like fucking dead bad. You're probably right. And like, when he took he his was shirt cut. off. He was cut. Yeah, he yeah. He really, he was. But like he, his face isn't that, like he doesn't like have a lot going on. He was just being cut. They're all cut. Yeah, it's so like it's you like, have to be hot if you're, you, you have to have some level of generic hotness if you're going to be on The Bachelor. Yeah. He looks like Blake from Rachel's season. Yes. But like which a I also less liked. intelligent Blake. Yeah. And like not so much on the cute side, but like similar facial features. Like no. a, a chin. Like I a, mean, all of these guys chin. basically look the same, but. Okay, <laughs> I just like one thing, and I think that this is about Tyler that's just like not my type, is when they kind of look dopey. <laughs> like I just don't like That's what I he, said He yes. smoked all the weed yeah. yeah like he just looks A little just like Fucking dazed And confused yeah. And I'm not yeah. into that I'm not into that so true. But him on a boat With a dog I was like In high school I would have been like <laughs> Yeah All over But he's Tyler like Such C. a stereotypical Florida frat boy though Yeah, yeah Like yeah. I know yeah. Hundreds of Tyler of con- That turned into construction managers. Like, that checks yes. out. Or, like, I wrote construction manager. Is that even a thing? He's, like, a contractor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's a contractor, I think. Uh, the next intro package was Peter. 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 Pilot, Pilot Peter. Pilot Peter. I think that... Like, for, first off the bat, I was like, I love him, but I think that he's, mm-hmm. like, I'm actually terrified that he's going to be, like, the closet bigot. Or, like, the, <gasps> I don't, I just got the vibe that he is, like, the... I got that from Cam. Oh, oh ABC Cam. Cam. ABC Cam. Cam yeah. I yeah. get that closet bigot vibe yeah. from him. Oh, time. great. <laughs> I'm just well, there's, saying. There's, pro- there's a cast of 30, there's probably well, there's more than probably one. There's probably more than one. Let's be honest. But I was just, like, I don't know, he just seems like one of those guys that's, like, great... Like, great when you meet them, but, like, if you look at their Instagram likes, You're like, it's like, very, like, yeah. concerning. Uh, it's kind fine. of hilarious, like, that his parents are, like, both in um, aviation. Yes! And then I was like, is this guy wealthy as hell? Because he's just saying, like, let's casually go to New Orleans for lunch. I'm like, what? I know he's a pilot, but you still have to, like, if he had, like, a private plane, that's not cheap. Like, no, and the the carbon footprint. Yeah, like, (laughs) this is not sustainable, Peter. Yes, yes, yeah. 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 I think that was, like, clearly just a bit, though. Yeah, yeah. And then then, he seems the most, like, I think he's gonna go far, but because he's, like, you can tell the guys that come in and, like, understand that this is a game yes. and they like have a strategy yes. and yes. they like have done their homework yes. and like take it seriously like some yes. of the guys like don't take it seriously but he clearly has thought this through yes has, has an idea of what he wants to say has an idea of what he wants to do i like the little gift he gave her like the little pilot's wings I that, was that was cute. cute yeah that's like callback to when you remember when you were a kid and you would like fly and you could go to the pilots and they would give you wings yes. and you ask them for it did you ever yes. do that no, but that sounds amazing. No, it was like my favorite thing ever. I would like I have like a whole collection of wings that I would get from pilots when we would fly and I would like Aww. we would wait all the way and my dad hated it because you know my father. Yes. He <laughs> needs to be off that plane immediately <laughs> when it is landed. It like hasn't even Before docked yet. Landed. And he's like already in the aisle and he's like, I know I have to sit down, you shut up, I'm getting my bag. No, he Fuck, is off funny. that plane. That's so but funny. But like I would st- I'd be like, No, we have to stay because you have to wait to the very end if you yeah. want to go ask them for wings. That's cute. Yeah, I would do that's that all very, the time. very cute. Yes. Yeah, I thought that he is one of those guys, yes, that has thought this through to the fact that he's like, what do women like to hear when they're first dating? That I'm spontaneous. So I need to mention that I'm spontaneous like right. fucking 10 times. True. And I feel yep. like spontaneous people aren't spontaneous. <laughs> No. <laughs> like, if they say that, it's not true. Yeah, like, the kind of easygoing, spontaneous people I know, it's just, like, a way of life where yeah, I'm, spontaneous like, spontaneous people don't to call you. themselves spontaneous. <laughs> exactly. Because they don't think of that because they're too busy being, being spontaneous. spontaneous. <laughs> people that are, like, I'm spontaneous. Like, I'm spontaneous. I just bought tickets for a trip six months from now, and I'm going to spend yes, time yes. meticulously researching yeah. every yes. single thing about this trip. Absolutely. And, like, my spontaneity is, like, going to McDonald's at, 
like 2 a.m. Just be like, let's let's be risky. <laughs> like, My spontaneous is also drunk spontaneous. <laughs> yeah, like it's just like, let's go for a walk or something down to the beach. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I liked Peter. I thought he was cute. Yeah. I, I think, think he's top six. He's definitely. Oh gonna yeah, go definitely. Far. Yeah. He's gonna go far. I thought he was. I thought he was cuter than Tyler. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Much cuter. Definitely the cuter of the two pilots, but we'll get to Mateo. No, Chasen. Uh, Chasen. Bad. Yeah, Mateo is giant chin. Yes. Right, Chasen. <laughs> Chasen. What a terrible name. <laughs> it's so bad. Jeez. The next intro pack. Why does the N on the end? It's so weird. It's Just parents. It's parents being like, Chase is too common. Let's call him Chase. <laughs> like, I can't decide between Jason and Chase. <laughs> so we're going to call him Jason. <laughs> it's so bad. Okay, the next intro package was from Mike. He's Mike a, J. He's a portfolio manager. Oh, yeah. I liked him. I thought he was nice. He was the one with yeah. the great grandma. Yes. I will say that like when he was like, so I know how to listen to women, I was like, right. But then yeah. when he had his alone time yes. with Hannah, yes. he was like active listening. Yeah. I was like, yes. yeah, do your solar. Yes. <laughs> he was so reassuring to her. And I think she's going to look for that. I think she's really going to like that. Me too. She felt, it seemed like she felt a little insecure. Oh, well, she talked about that in her yeah. speech, right? Like, yeah. I didn't know if I deserved this. And like, yeah. he was really really good at giving her like verbal affirmations so yes. I'm like you're gonna go far in and this. he was like asking her um open-ended questions yeah yeah he was straight up I actually was super impressed by him yeah me too the one petty thing that I will say about <laughs> him is I fucking hate when family members say like I fell in love like my first love was my, like, mom or my yeah. dad. Yeah, it's so weird. Is that weird? It's, it's weird. Because, one, like... you don't fall in love with them. Yes! Yeah! You are... it's like, you just love them in a familiar way. <laughs> like, yeah. It's so weird. Yeah, it's like, so it's weird so thing. weird. But I fucking, like, that's just, like, I know that's nitpicky, but I just know it is. Were, it, like, it's weird. No, it was weird. I did not like that, which is why I thought, like, his whole thing was bullshit. And then, like, when he actually was active listening, I was like, Okay, Mike. All right, I see you. I, I see will you. say that for some reason to me, it was better that it was his like great grandma instead of his mom. He was talking same, about. But same. Like, I it hate was when still mo- weird. when kids are or like specifically men are like obsessed with their mom to a it's point of like. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Again, so, okay, we're getting judgy, <laughs> but like this is ready to be ready. So. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was super hot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I loved really his hot. height. He just looks. He looks, like, successful, and yeah. I don't know. I really, really liked him. One thing that I was – that I don't like about him, and I guess we can talk about this later, is he – I feel like he t- is one of those guys that talks in platitudes mm. and just really generalized, like, right. statements, and I hate that. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. he's the kind of person that has, like, that classic, like, quote of, like, struggle is what creates success. Like, yes. Like, framed in his office yes. type of thing. And, and it's like, like, tattooed oh. on his body. Like, yeah. Yeah. And mm. I just, like, hate... And, like, when people are struggling, they don't, like, or whatever. And he didn't exhibit this, but when people are, like, having a tough time, they don't want to hear, like, a fucking... Mm-hmm. When you like, overcome this, you... Like, I don't yeah. know. It's like, just let me be sad, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have out. an opinion of him that I think... I think he's going to get in a fight with another guy. I think that <gasps> he's going to be... I think there's going to be drums... I think there's really? gonna be. I think he's gonna be the you're not here for the right reasons instigator this season. Oh my I god! Like that. I'm the righteous person. That yeah. Gets yeah. Like I'm here yeah. for the right reasons. Yes. Are you here for the right reasons? Yes. yes. I'm calling. He's gonna be like middle yes. out because of that. Yeah. Yes. Although yes. I don't know, cause like that. I think the two on one is gonna be with Luke and another dude who I don't yes. I don't know who the other dude was gonna be but I think Generic Luke is gonna be on the two on one so I don't think Mike's gonna be on the two on one but I do think that he's gonna get caught up in the drama I could see that because it's so stupid when they start doing that it's like have you ever seen this show like shut up you're gonna get sent home yeah I know and that's why sometimes I do like the people that have a little bit of strategy mm-hmm. yeah because it's like it will also keep you sane if you yeah. just know like what to look out for and stuff 100% mm-hmm. it's like don't follow into these like there's clearly traps that they set every season. Every yeah. fucking yeah. season. There's a reason yeah. there's that gif of Chris Harrison on Instagram <laughs> and say, you're not here for the right reason. Yes. It's like, they know. They know what they're doing. It they actually know that says, this is... he's clearly not here for the right <laughs> <Yes. reasons." laughs> 
<laughs> of course, excuse me. It's I'm so sorry. It's so funny. That's the best gift they have on Instagram. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Love, love me some Christmas. Okay, hold on. Next, we have Box King. Oh, my Ugh. God. Okay, I hated him. Me too. I wrote twat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, fucking. Was he Italian? I think he was Italian. Yeah. Yeah. I, know, I, just, he was, I wrote aggressively New York. He yeah. was aggressively from have New York. Have you seen the Mindy yeah. Project? No. Oh, okay. No. For anyone who's listening who has seen the Mindy Project, he reminded me of Danny Castellano, but yeah. like without the bonus of him being a doctor. Like yes. he was like the <laughs> same, like arrogant. He's an entrepreneur. He owns a box business. No, he took over <laughs> his dad's box business. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's I do funny. know who Danny is, but I do get that vibe. He also yeah. looks like him. He does. Mm-hmm. But the package, like, okay. Okay, his we'll intro. talk. To, we'll talk about that. Yeah. His his limo exit, like, yeah. I thought that was that great. Was I thought he was entertaining. Honestly, I think where he went wrong is he should have done the box king for a moment and like had it be a bit right at the beginning and then dropped dropped it. it. But he was too into the box. Thing. You have to. Okay, that's a tip. If there's any future <laughs> bachelorette or bachelor contestants listening to this podcast, that is a fucking hot tip because. When we watch Colton season, remember the sloth girl? Yeah. Yes. You have to drop the bit right away. Because yes. if, if you don't, then the lead just thinks that you're here for TV. Yes. Yeah, 100%. So true. And, so or true. like that you're a joke, just like Waboom. Like if it, you have to drop it right when you get in. You yeah, can do Waboom the limo exit, but don't let it like run your like one-on-one time. The sad thing also, about Waboom though is that like that obviously like was part of his life. Like I think when he wasn't on TV, he was like, yeah. Waboom! Yeah, that's like, true. Yeah, like t-shirts and stuff. And I was like, that's you can't yeah. trademark that. It's weird. Yeah, that's weird. I also feel like being the box king, like, isn't that just such a stereotypical, like, like or like mattress store kind of yes. like? Isn't that not good advertising? Yeah, like, he definitely weird. has those terrible ads in the tri-state area. Yeah, like, yeah, they, yeah. <laughs> with the green screen. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's yeah. like, come, come to the on, box. Man, yeah. box king. We got bo- we got big boxes. We got little boxes. We got <laughs> yeah. medium sized boxes. Yeah. Whatever kind of boxes you need, we got boxes. Come to the box <laughs> place. It was so weird Literally. when he's like, "You want to put your junk in a box? I got the box for you." And it was like, "Yeah." Oh, I was and like, then he oh, also said, know. "And the junk," which is where oh, like he yeah, was gross. Right. Yeah. I think that's yeah. when you actually typed out twat. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. true. I did. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. The next one was Matt Donald. Who I, I love, love Matt Donald. Donald. Saint. Hashtag justice for Matt Donald. This is the next grocery store, Joe. Also, when we were talking about like dropping the bit, do you think yeah. that if he had taken off his hat and gotten a chance to talk to her, that yes. he might have stayed? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I think, I think he Scott into fucked it. him over. Yes, agreed. I yes, agree. Scott was garb. 100%. Yes. I loved him. Him with his family, I started crying. Oh my God, it was so cool. Like, oh my god, he just like can use American Sign Language and like I don't know. And it was just like he didn't, he wasn't making a big deal about it, and he wasn't doing it. It was just a part of his life. Yes, because I hate on the Bachelor and the Bachelorette, and they rarely do this well, where it's like I have a a a hardship in my life or something that was tragic happened to me. Yeah, and then they like harp on it for like ratings or like the lead sympathy. Yes, and this just seemed like this is my life. This yeah. is what it looks like. Because well, like yeah, you just had a family. It wasn't like yeah. a tragedy or anything. It no, was, like, he just like yeah, he just like talks just... about it. Yeah, because it's like it's yeah, there it's just a normal thing for him. I think the farmer thing honestly was what Which he was, probably like, like wasn't the good. Like I think he leaned into like the old matt donald bit a yeah. little like well, i thought that was fucking it was no, hilarious the intro was cute yeah, but yeah. that was his only interaction with yeah, her which yeah, was the problem yeah, yeah. Yeah. it's like okay that's too country yeah if that's like the only thing that you get and then i think that he like the song was cute but then he like could have pulled out of it a little yes. bit and like said like hi i'm matt donald it yes. was a joke but i'm not actually a farmer like people used to call <laughs> me like old matt donald yeah. when i was a kid yeah. and like he could have taken the hat and like like thrown it down yeah. the driveway and been yeah. like yeah but he was also a huge like crimson tide fan like he was like roll tide oh, his whole family was like roll tide when they were introducing him i was like oh my god this guy's gonna go like top Super i wrote he far. said like he'll go far and then Same. then he didn't make it past night one okay, i was shook i am so shook. lucky for all the girls that are gonna go on um, bip yes paradise because he's a catch he's, he's an catch. absolute catch yeah he is 
textbook next grocery store joe yes absolutely 100 yeah. percent. and same with chasen which we can talk about yeah. later the next intro package was wait ha- i have a petty thing to say oh, about matt donald bring it on okay so as much as i love matt donald i thought it was fucking weird how he kept referring to all the other guys as studs i was like ew, ew. it's just such a weird term to me especially since he was like playing up the farmer thing i was like Okay, no, I didn't <laughs> notice that, weird. but, like, I'm honestly, he's on my shit list. <laughs> like, 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 he's Whoa, fucking out for you. Oh, you so hard. <laughs> he just has one quirk, Tori. He still worth yeah. your love. No, I'm not. No, Okay, no. sorry, that's my petty thing. No, I, I still fucking love, love that. Love with all my heart. Matt, I'm lukewarm on him now. <laughs> I will say the word stud is gross. It's It's so gross. It's a gross Yeah, it's really gross. Okay, so the next one was Connor J, who's a car sales manager. Yeah, I think he's going to go far. I don't think he's going to be, like, top three. No, I think he'll be middle of the road. It was really interesting how he talked about his family, Mm -hmm. like, his parents immigrating. And he speaks French, too, which is, like kind of a cool yeah thing. that was insane yeah. he's like i'm american I but i that. speak french it was really beautiful yeah yeah you also, could tell he was nervous he definitely yeah, was definitely he's I, cute i thought his little like bachelorette party for her was really cute oh my god okay we need to get into that we will get into that but holy yeah. shit that's actually like the one gimmick i've ever liked in my whole entire I, it life was so cute it was and so she looked cute. Like she was having fun and i was like this one seems the most fun of any like yeah. gimmick that I've ever that seen. That game that they played with the ping pong balls oh, yes. was hilarious. Yes. It was I so that cute. My yeah. Yes, yeah, <laughs> it is a very fun bachelorette party, and the person yeah. who loses can like take a drink or something yeah. like that. Yeah. It, it was, was cute. Fun. I, yeah, I think that he will go pretty far, but I don't know if he has staying power. I yeah. do think he is adorable, so I hope he's yeah. around for a while. Yeah, I think he's middle of the road, maybe a VIP guy, but yeah. I, don't I could know. see him on VIP. I could yeah. yeah. I don't think he's gonna blow up, but I don't think he's gonna I don't know, yeah. be voted out next. Yeah. Uh Luke P was our next guy. Oh I didn't write God. down an occupation for him. I thought that his occupation was having a shower encounter with God. Oh my gosh. Okay. What? I literally wrote down God touched him in a sho- in the shower <laughs> no! with like five exclamation points because no! I was so shook. He did. He was like, I had an experience with God in the shower. I know. That was such I a know. Weird way to phrase that. It was. Like, why did you so include weird. that detail? I know. I don't know. It seemed so. Yeah, I just think it's like if you wanted to be taken seriously, did you have to say that it was in the shower? I would have just been like, God spoke to me. Yeah. Yeah. It was such a weird thing. Like to say. we were chatting. I would not mention that it was in the <laughs> fucking shower. Yeah. He, to me, he is good looking, but like in 2010. Yes. Like yes. I would, like, I feel like he's like a 10 year. But I think Hannah might be into that He though. could have been on Jersey Shore. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Like he was yeah. like kind of one of those like commercial, commercially good looking guys that mm. like, I would have been like, oh, in 2010, you would have been like the yeah. cream of the crop. He is yeah. extra, extra buff. Yeah. I yes. think that he is, yeah, I also think that the religion, his religion, his religiosity is going to be a pro for him. I think it's going to work with him. Okay, but do yeah. we think that he's the one that shames Hannah for having had sex before marriage? No. Fucking he has? Yeah. I know, but I'm just saying that yeah. doesn't necessarily mean he wouldn't. No, I think there's going to be a true. secret other religious person. Uh, I oh think God, that was, though. I think that was the misdirect because you have right. to look at the misdirects, right? Uh, like yeah, they played up the religion part in the first episode yeah. and then they gave a thing about religion. That's so they okay. want you to think it's him, but it's actually going to be somebody else. It's a twist. That's true. So That's true. I feel so like it'll true. be somebody like i hope it's cam because i want to see her yell at cam because yeah, i don't like cam but i don't know who it's gonna be to i be feel like luke is definitely a front runner though because like he met her already yeah. on after the final rose they got on pretty well and like i was like kind of keeping my eye on him through the episode and obviously we know he got the first impression rose and he yeah. talked to her a few times but even when she did her first toast he like snuck up to the front and was there to like cheers her directly and i was like okay there's the strategy yeah strategy. Yes. Not almost strategy. Yeah. absolutely okay yeah. were you guys concerned about his niece's neck when he 
Yes. yes. Yeah. When he that was packing. That was super weird. Yeah. I was like, that baby literally looks three weeks old. Yeah. And you have it like propped up trying to give it a high five. I know. It, her a high five. Yeah. I was like, this is concerning. Super concerning. Yeah. It was It was very, like, very at first when he was like, my niece, I was like, oh, that's cute. And yeah. then he was like, high five. And I'm like, you're, you're dumb. dumb. Yeah. <laughs> I do like, though, because he also mentioned that his sister-in-law nominated him. So he yeah. was like, yes. Surprised that he got on the show. Yeah. I do kind of like that they're kind of like Prince William mm-hmm. and Kate. Mm-hmm. And then he's Harry. Oh my God. Yeah. And Hannah could be Megan. Oh my could God. Be. Could be, but is not. <laughs> like, <laughs> but is not even, like, no. not even close. But no. I was like very concerned. And it seems like he kind of was like using the niece as like a prop. And yeah. I was just like not yeah. into that. Not also, um, there was a point, and maybe it was just like, poor choice of words but he when he was talking before he said about his encounter with god he was like talking about how he used to like take advantage of how women like viewed him and i was like you should not use that term when you're talking about like yes women. That's yeah. uh, that weird. was call and yourself he was, a hoe and be done with it yeah yeah it's like that's on you that's yeah. like and i thought that it was like Okay, A, he wasn't the first person to say, like, that he, like, took advantage of girls' as, like, interest yeah. in him, them, yeah. which, like, sounds fucked up, and they should not include that shit in the show, because no. that type of, like, passive acceptance of that type of shit is fucked up. Yeah. But... That's what I meant when I said 2010 hot because he probably was hot yeah. yes. in and college then it in 2010. Working, and then he's yes. like, "Oh, I found God. Weird how that happened. Oh my God. Yeah. Literally, yeah. God, I found you. No oh way. Oh my God, because like yeah. women aren't interested in me anymore because I have no personality because I've just gotten away on my looks and now I have God. I thought that it was also really yeah. interesting how he never said that he was like born again virgin or anything like that. Yes. So I'm like, are you yeah. still having sex or like? Yeah. I don't oh, hundred percent, he's still having sex yeah yes. so it's like what he's is born this? again but he's not that born again yeah yeah <laughs> he's not fresh yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> fucking nar yeah no i i yeah he kind of grossed me out to be honest i did he not... does gross me out and i yeah. hate how much hannah likes him and yeah. i think that he's a front runner i agree. i can see him well he's obviously a front runner yeah he got first, he got first impression, first impression. and it's like it's like five seasons or whatever like yeah, the yeah. first impression rose winner is one like yes. it just like keeps happening so i'm yeah. hoping that they now because it's like so obvious that yeah. they won't have that happen this time yeah like maybe like she she was directly told like yeah, don't, don't pick, pick your front runner whatever yeah. if, if you have strong feelings for yeah. this person we'll but see who knows. how it plays out because we're yeah. spoiler free <laughs> <laughs> so then we get the limo exits um yeah. again kind of lackluster i was actually surprised surprised how much the show showed how many guys were like visibly nervous and i think that this was the first time i actually really noticed that they used the because they started doing this with colton season last season with the like vlog thing where they would give them a handheld and then have to do it and i don't think it really worked for colton and colton season as well it was yeah and it just like didn't really work. But like I the think editing it's a good was kind of weird. No, yes. I think it worked much better this time. Like, it was I think good. It was good. It yeah. like looked good, and I think that it was like helpful. And that was actually good footage, and I actually enjoyed watching that. Where Me it too. felt a little bit more real. Like they don't make it seem like it's not a TV show anymore. Yeah, like it's, it's not, not like, like this oh is wow, stylistic. these thirty men just appeared at this mansion. It's like yeah. you know, clearly they all flew in the day before, and it's like been dicking around in LA for a day, and yeah. like. Yeah, so it's No, nice. I really liked that. And I liked because it was footage that we wouldn't have got. Where with Colton's interviews, it was like, well, we get his interview. So these are just like, we don't yeah. need these. Yes, yeah. that's true. There, there's no content. But it's yeah. like the them flying into LA. It was like, oh, we don't usually see this. So this is actually cool. Yeah. yeah. I liked that. So that was cool. The first one out of the limo is always a front runner. Like always a very long term yeah. I always think of Lauren B was the first one out of the limo for Ben Higgins. Mm-hmm. Garrett. Yeah, Garrett from Birmingham. Yes. Another golf Alabama bro. boy. The yes. Golf bro. And I literally straight up, I was telling Mason this before the, the, the episode, I was like, oh, he's from Birmingham. That sounds familiar. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's because yeah. that's where yeah. Mason is from. And that was the light bulb moment. You were like, oh, my God, oh, I have shit. a friend from Alabama. Yes. I'm going to have him on yes. the pod. Yes. Like, oh, my God. But I... Um, I don't know. I, I don't 
I didn't write anything else out. I wrote golf jokes with an exclamation point because I thought that was kind of funny. But, like, he didn't have a chance to talk to her. No. He made a joke about, like, hole in one, and I was like, inappropriate much. Yeah, (laughs) but it, like, wasn't a good... Yeah. yeah, (laughs) It was, like, not a good hole in one joke, I felt. No, it was not. It was not good. I mean, like, it was not... I think he'll go far, but I think that we haven't seen anything yet of him. Yeah. I think that episodes two and three will be very, like, telling. He might be one of the ones that gets a date card early. Yeah, I could see that. I'm also really surprised this is really insider baseball, but usually if there's a person that goes far and they didn't think he would go far in the first episode, they do, like, pick up interviews where they mm. interview them later in the season mm. and they dress them up in similar clothes. But you can tell that the background's different and their hair and makeup and stuff is different. Mm-hmm. And I didn't see any of those for him, so maybe he doesn't actually go that. Maybe oh. they're throwing us a red herring. Yeah, I don't know. maybe it could be interesting because yeah. people are picking up on the formula. Like yeah. people kind yeah. of know what the deal is now. So I don't know. Maybe okay. they're trying to trick us. He could be maybe. boring. Who knows? He kind of seems boring. He was. Boring he does seem one. very boring. And right. I feel like Hannah needs someone spicy. The second person out of the limo, though, yeah. I think is going to go very far. Mike Johnson. No, it was Jed I thought was next, wasn't he it? He was third. Oh. Mike Johnson is the five C's. Yeah, he's the, we, yeah, we've yes, talked about him. Yes, and he's the platitude guy. And I actually think he'll go far, but he's not the winner. You know no. when you just know? He's yeah, not, he's not, not the, the winner. winner. Judd was the third person out. I couldn't figure out, is it Jed or Judd? Jed, Jed. with an E. Oh, okay, yes. that's way better than Judd. <laughs> it is way better. The country singer from Nashville. Yeah, your thoughts? Uh, it is 100% sexual attraction. She yeah. has, yeah. Yeah. like, just such a huge crush on him. And probably that's it. I don't know. I always get so sus about the people that come on here singing. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like you're just here to promo your music career. Right? Like, what and are I'm, you doing? I just, wasn't even that good. That's the thing. They're never that good. And I'm always just like, didn't you watch Ali Fedotowski's season when Kaylin was singing and she was like, that wasn't good. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. like, I don't know. I just feel like you never, like, it's not like people, like music execs are like sliding into his DMs <sighs> anymore. No, I don't think that... I think he'll go pretty far, but only because Hannah is super sexually attracted to him. Yeah, yeah. I think he. Which I way? think he could be a top four. I get. He's kind of a smoke show. Let's be honest. Yeah, he was cute. Is he? Go, go. Yeah, I think he was like actually pretty cute, which surprised me for his bad singing voice. I don't know. It wasn't great. No, it wasn't great. He has a small face. He, yeah, <laughs> That's he's not to say. That's he's, what I have to say about Jen. Yeah, he. I retract that I thought he was hot. He's kind of trolly. No offense. He looks. This like picture a small, is not very good. I think his yeah, hair was better it, in the app. Okay, but his. Like, he looks like a small <laughs> Nick Vile. Like, that's what I see. No. <laughs> oh, I no. like Jed. No, no, you can't. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, that's fair. Tyler C. was the next one out, so he's the construction yes. manager. Right. The construction yeah. manager man. I thought, okay, like, and I fucking hate this, the obvious ogle. Like, when so you weird. walk, yes. when they walk out of the limo and they're like, oh my god, like... Yeah. Looking her up and down, it just, like, it seems contrived. It's not it's like you gross. didn't, like, actually do that. You yeah. just, like, maybe thought that that was something that would make her feel good or that she would like. It's like yeah. people don't like that. It's like she fucking knows she looks good. You don't have to do that. Yeah. No, I didn't like that either. And, like, also he did that whole bit about dancing and he didn't even really dance. No. I was like, that was your supposed to be your thing. You got to have a thing. Maybe a producer was like, oh, we got to like access immediately. Oh, like, that was start. what I wanted to say about his dance career though. Cause he was like, I was like two courses away from a dance minor. And I was like, isn't everybody two courses away from, from a, a minor? minor? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I feel like we're all two courses away from a dance minor. Yeah. Oh my God. That's so funny. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so... But I feel like everyone says it, like, not actually from dance, but, like, I feel like so many people say that about, like, any minor. Yeah, like, like I, I was oh, too versatile. Like a... yeah. yeah. It's like you weren't, but <laughs> anyways. Um, Dylan is our white jacket bachelor. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm sorry, I just have to say, I, I don't know if either of you will even get this reference, but for anyone who's seen Goodfellas, um, this guy yeah. makes me think of Ray Liotta yeah. in yeah, the yeah, white yeah, tux. Yeah. His face looks the same. Yeah. I just was getting, like, Goodfellas and, like, Hannibal vibes from yeah, him. Yeah, it was And I also good. wrote Leo DiCaprio. 
but oh i, I can see that i like, think i was just mm. like looking at him i was kind of like is this are you on the titanic why are you wearing this white suit so that's kind of my it was just uh, i just don't know how people thought that that was like i i get that he probably wanted to stand out but white is not, not the way to go tux? Yeah. Like, oh, not, oh, it's, it's not so a, like gross. a wedding no yeah. it's like it looks like he got his suit that he wore to like a bar mitzvah. I was just like, gonna say a bar mitzvah. Yeah, yeah yes. like some like middle school thing. Yeah. Like retailer to fit him as an adult and wore that. And it's like, <laughs> don't, what are you doing? When he first got out of the limo, I was like, oh, he's gonna do a groom bit. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm at the wedding, like, and I just yes. found my bride or something like that. It was horrendous. It was awful. It was yeah, really because women have done that with like veils and stuff like that. Yeah. And I like he literally looked like a wedding singer. He did. It was so, like, no offense. He it was looked, so bad. I, I really no hated that outfit. No offense. Hated that outfit. He won for be- worst outfit of the night. Yes, Absolutely. Did. Then it was Connor S. who ju- jumped the fence. Oh, uh, the fence jumper. Yeah. I loved how out of breath he was the entire time. I was like, I, same. <laughs> yeah. <I'm- laughs> Connor. <laughs> Do you think that it was fake, like, that he got assistance? Or yeah, oh, 100%. Okay, there okay, was a okay, trampoline okay. on the other side of that uh, fence. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's a trampoline. I thought that it was really... I actually, like, didn't hate it. I thought it was great. No. Just, like, it was relevant. It was funny. Yeah. Like, I thought... I liked his bit. I think, like, nowadays you almost need to have a bit. Yeah. Um. So I like when it's, like, a bit that you are not beating into the ground or it's not embarrassing like it's Mm -hmm. just like a one and done it had a cute reference so i thought it was fine i thought he looked pretty similar to the way tyler looked but like he's more attractive than tyler yeah connor s for sure yeah we had Devin next. He had the joke about being a virgin. Oh, he's so that sleazy. Was it was. It fell flat. It was so awkward. It was so awkward. I, I thought that they really were gonna be like, like okay, him. we should retake this. And he got a rose. Yeah. What are what you doing? F- Her choices were like whack, but I feel like I don't know. She's like doesn't care that that was heinous i don't know i don't know maybe she thought it was funny i hope not it was so bad he seems like a sleaze like he seems like the kind of talent manager that is not oh he's super sleazy yeah 100 percent. he's super sleazy yeah didn't like him next was john paul jones (laughs) oh my god john paul jones what's your job John Paul Jones. What do your friends call you? John Paul Jones. What should I call you? John Paul Jones. Oh, it's John Paul Jones. Got it. Got John it. John Paul got Jones. It. <laughs> he literally, he sounds like a cult leader. He is a cult leader. <laughs> yeah, the Too John Paul Jones. Jones, like cult. But he, he looks like best. okay. Remember the Titans. Sunshine. <gasps> he does look right? like sunshine. sunshine. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't shame Ryan Gosling like that. Yeah, it's like that is the biggest insult Ryan Gosling has ever received. I didn't turn down a promotion at John Paul Jones just for this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was so funny. He's like, I turned down a promotion and it's like his career is John Paul Jones. And yeah. it's like, well, no, what are you doing? <laughs> it's so John bad. I just feel like those type of guys, it's like, it's so, like in in past seasons, it's like it was hard to find who was like the person not there for the right reasons. And it's just like... Hey, yeah. John Paul Jones, day one. Yeah. I think like, now that like people have figured out that they always have a villain on each season, the producers are just like, you know what, fuck it, let's just get like the most hilarious villain we can. Yeah, yeah. keep them around for five apps and then get rid of them. Yeah, like, absolutely, hundred percent. It's like formulaic at this point. Yeah, yeah, but like, also, I think John Paul Jones is gonna be fucking funny. Like, I think he's gonna cause all the drama I want him to cause. We haven't seen much of him mm. other than his intro like no we didn't see a lot so we i'm didn't kind see of anything. curious to see what he's like like what kind of villain he's gonna yeah. be yeah i'm like i am i know why they kept him but i'm like bitter that he stayed and matt donald went home like, i actually stupid. think that he might be the just the day one villain like remember the dj on colton season oh, with yeah. the dog yeah. and we're like wow she's gonna be like the, the fucking villain. worst yeah. right i think it's like another red herring yeah. situation i, I kind of hope he's see. around for a minute like i didn't mind him as much like i'm much more upset that devin got a rose and not yeah, yeah same 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 that yeah like devin's trash. ridiculous but yeah. i think that john paul jones has just like so much potential for hilarity that like i'm like 
I'm fine with it. Like, clearly he's not going to win. Like, he's not there for that. And I'm fine with that. It's like, what was that? What was the guy in Becca's season? The one that wore the Speedo? Oh, um, yeah, he was on VIP yeah. and the model. Yeah, the model. He was so funny. Yeah. Like, he was funny. And then by yeah. the end, I was like, the, it was so hilarious because by the time he actually did have, like, time to sit down with Becca 101, it was like, oh, you literally can't talk about anything but yourself. I this know. It's so bad. He Jordan? Jordan! Jordan, Jordan Kimball or whatever. Yeah. Jordan! Exactly, I but, like, I like, him. I think John Paul Jones has, like, that kind of potential. Like, he's yeah. just gonna be funny. I know. I weirdly like Jordan. That's fair. The next one was, was Brian. Horrible. He was the guy that was, like, laughing, laughing, laughing. Mm, I said weird Brian. laugh because he's so anxious. Too I much know. anxiety. I so felt bad anxiety. because Ugh. he ended up seeming like a douche, so I don't really care. But it just, yeah. it's like you, it's like it was uncontrollable laughter. Yeah. Yeah. I had never 100%. seen that in, like, real life. No. no it was yeah. absolutely, like, I was so anxious for him. Kind of Same. relatable that he was that anxious. <laughs> yeah. Same, but it's so funny how, like, they didn't cut it out or anything like no, they just yeah. fucking they just, like, put just him on blast <laughs> yeah, like, this is what you were doing like nowhere to hide oh god so bad he's like the guy in rachel's season that got way too drunk <gasps> oh, yeah. the fir- oh and the they gave him night. that like amazing intro yeah, and yeah. Like, oh, i love this guy and then he got so blasted and yeah was like, okay. that was embarrassing <laughs> Ugh. yeah hilarious Ryan. Scott. I literally was in the middle of writing not memorable uh, in my notes when Hannah forgot his name. No, no. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, it's hilarious. He's so not memorable. Yeah. Hannah forgot his name. She was the only one that had to ask his name again. I know. And he was, again, so nervous. Mm-hmm. He was so, I so nervous. I said not staying long. And then he didn't even stay the whole episode. Yeah. I so know. you predicted that. We'll, we'll <laughs> get to that Yeah, in a he bit. ended up being memorable, but for all the wrong all reasons. All the wrong reasons. And yeah. he deserved it. Yeah. This is when they start getting into the Fast and Furious where yes. we literally had to pause the app Same. to like, be like, Wait, what the hell just happened? Same. It was just like Brian Scott, Mateo, Darren, Tyler. Yeah. Just like back to back to back to back to back. Yeah, and I'm super happy not to talk too much about these guys. Like Mateo. Huge gin. Huge gin. Okay, do you, do you guys know the, the rumor on the street is that he's donated sperm and has... <gasps> oh, That's yeah. him? Yes. Ooh. That's his That's like in his yeah. bio. Like 114 Ooh. children. There's a lot of large children running around. Yes. Oh, we'll all know who they are. <laughs> yes. I did read an article on The Atlantic that said like that's actually probably not true because... Um, access to that information about actually what happens to your sperm yeah. is really limited. And uh, then also most flex, companies. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that is a weird flex. I was like, that's disgusting. Why yeah. would you ever say that? Yeah. But um, there's apparently laws, which I didn't even think of this, where sperm can only be used like 25 times because... That um, makes sense. Because of incest. Yeah. Because yeah. if you don't know who the Statistically, father, you yes. never know. Yeah. And if it's coming from the same geographical area, it's yes. like, who yes. knows? Yeah. So I was like reading the article and it's like a, a lot of sperm is broken up and shipped to different parts of oh. um, the country or even the world. And that really? um, they only use it a select number of times and that you don't get mm-hmm. information. So I have no idea. Like they're saying, how would he have ever known that that was like that his number? That is fascinating. Yeah. But why would you choose that? Like, why would you say that? Why would you say know. that? It sounds so bad. Yes. I don't know. I don't think that that's a cool thing to brag about. Also, apparently there's a, a sidebar, just like for a second, a movie about yes. um, like that situation yes. and all the kids like get together or something. Yes. I'm kind of like intrigued. Okay, there's a new one with mm-hmm. Brittany Snow um, mm-hmm. and like some other like pretty prominent actors. Yeah. I think it's like a Lifetime movie or something like yeah. that. But there's also a Canadian film called Starbuck about it. That's and it's the one. really good. Yeah. yeah, it's a French okay. Canadian yes. movie and it's really, really good. But it shows the like harms that yeah. sperm donors can have if your sperm is used a, a lot. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, let's move on. And it's like, on. how full of yourself do you have to be to think we need more of you? Like that. No, oh, you're, you. yeah. It, Mateo, not a good luck. Yeah. yeah. Darren, all he wrote down was that he walked the wrong way. Yeah. yeah same. He'll go middle far. Yeah. Like, the, he'll stay around for three or four apps and then he'll be gone. Yeah, like he's, he's an F3 bottom. kind of guy. Tyler G, I wrote, um, dreaming of Hannah. 
Yeah. Yeah, basic B. He was kind of boring. Oh, that is not a good picture of him. Oh. For Thomas, the next guy who just wrote B ball. International B ball. International B ball. That was not good enough for the NBA. I wrote broken sideburns. (laughs) Broken sideburns. Yeah, because he was shaved way too close by his ears, and it literally looked like his beard was detached from his. How shitty would that be if you're like, "Hey, gotta get my trim because I'm about to be on TV," (laughs) and you get like the worst haircut of your life, and you're you're like, like, "Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, fuck!" There's nothing I can do about this. I'm pretty sure that's what happened to Joey, but we'll get there. Oh my god! Oh my god! (laughs) (laughs) Oh, the weird middle side part yeah. fucking Ugh. so savage okay matthew all i probably is car bid spotter what the hell Same. does that mean i put a question mark what i have is that? no idea what that means like does he go to auctions and yeah. buy cars i thought when it flashed on the screen it was car bird spotter Same, and i was so like did I. you drive around spotting birds what a hilarious job good job i thought it was gonna be like bird enthusiast like you know how they always yes. have like a yeah. i'm a like one. yeah like a yeah. chicken enthusiast or whatever yeah and it was like i was like oh this is the bird enthusiast that's hilarious but no i think car bid spotter is a real job somehow i don't know what's going on with that i don't know yes. matthew if you're listening to this <laughs> what please do tell you us. do <laughs> please dm us you yeah. don't know what you do <laughs> Okay, Joe is the fucking box king. He mm-hmm. came out with his little, I was going to say tractor. It's not a tractor. A forklift. Forklift. I thought it was hilarious when Hannah was like, it's a big package. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Good work. Good work. Yeah. I liked when it said fragile handle with care because yeah. I was like, same. <laughs> <laughs> like That is a hashtag mood for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And then I, I didn't put any anything else i think it's funny at this point that the guys are watching from the sideline yeah so that was my note actually for this entrance because i thought it was fucking hilarious one of the guys was making commentary like "Ooh, bold move cotton yeah let's see if it's gonna work out for him like this is amazing (laughs) i fucking love that and that's like the shit that i like actually want to see yeah okay because remember when um our love uh old matt donald Mm -hmm. was singing and he was like here a bro there a bro and then the yeah. bros are like yeah like we're yeah, over here and i was like oh here, that's so bros. cute like it was really Funny. cute but that was cute that was good i liked that yeah and- the box king was just the box king and that ultimately was his downfall it was mm-hmm. absolutely i also just feel like this is so rude but like i feel like don't lead with that you're a box king because like it's just kind of like <laughs> that's not interesting i feel like other people are like i got pilot or like i'm a doctor like i save lives and he's like i can create any type of box you ever imagine like don't lead with that that's like weird. that sounds fucking boring <laughs> i feel like her life flashed before her eyes where it's like her eating dinner and being like how was your work day honey and then him being just like blabbing about boxes yeah. and then her just being like, I can't fucking do this anymore. Yeah. We lost that big FedEx contract. Yeah. I don't know what to do. Like, yeah. And oh. she's just like, I can't live with someone like this. Yeah, um, Joey came in with the baby and then popped the champagne. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I didn't hate that. I thought it was like kind of a fun twist. Yeah. Like, champagne. yeah. Hmm. And it was kind of like, this is what I'm looking like striving for. But right now let's just like party. Yeah. yeah. It was like pretty strategic, I think. Yeah, yeah. I didn't hate it, but I was also like, conf- it wasn't like a straight, super straightforward joke. And yes. I don't like it when wasn't. the gimmicks are like, really like confusing, complicated. like complicated. Yeah. Don't make me think, be funny and leave. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. The time yes. For exactly. Some kind of like convoluted thing. Yes. Yeah. yes. Absolutely. Did he get a rose? Oh, he did get a rose. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah. Our next guy was Connor J. Wait, is Joey the one with the super weird hair part? Yeah, Yeah, he's the middle part guy. God, I hate his hair so much. He's like so bad. I feel like when we see him once the show's finished, he'll have a better haircut. It'll just be like Vinny all over again. He's gonna be the fucking glow up. Yeah, yeah, Yeah. like the because he's like a good looking dude. Yeah, it's just like a weird like he's got this weird part. Too much of a scalp. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. and he's got like a serious right angle on the corner. Like, what is happening? It's. It's a very weird haircut, but once he moves to LA and gets that like bachelor it's, glow up, yes. and then yeah. he comes back for BIP, yes. he'll be in he'll be in good shape. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, because yep, yep, yep. you're right; he is good looking, but he like, is. yikes! So next we had our en français Connor J. Yeah, 
Mm, yeah. I like him. It was just it was it was lackluster, but I'm just like that's almost better because yeah. it's just like you're probably normal. Yeah, yeah. he's probably normal. Yeah. Plus, yeah. he followed up with the bachelorette party thing, right? He so, did. like, oh my he god, still made the yeah, yeah, yeah. loved it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I absolutely loved that. Mm-hmm. Next was Ryan, who rollerbladed in. Oh, the roller boy, roll tide. I feel like they cut the part that it like linked it to roll t- roll tide. And then it was like, I didn't get it. Then I was like, oh. But he was bad at rollerblading. He yeah, was. he was It was bad. also weird because that was his, like, occupation was roller boy. Yeah. And it was just like, what? It's like, come on, Is Bachelor. Is this an entrance joke or are you going to wear rollerblades the whole season? Like, what's happening? <laughs> oh, I hope he wears rollerblades the whole season. <laughs> Do you guys remember the guy that kept the mask on? And then... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like, he had, like, one of those masquerade masks and he kept it on for, like, fucking, like, three episodes. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Ooh, or, um, what season was that? What's his face with the doll? <laughs> Where oh, you have the little mini doll. Oh my god. That Vinny? was weird. No, that, no, it was Vinny. No. That was so weird. That was so bad. Yeah, that was so creepy. Yeah. That so and weird. that guy went to BIP. And he brought the freaking doll with uh, yeah. him. Yeah. And he was in like a bathing suit. Oh, uh, <laughs> so gross. Like, that's fucking disgusting. So weird. <laughs> um, and then again, these guys came in hot, hot and fast, I guess. Yeah. Hunter with the tie the knot joke. Um, yeah, yeah, that was yeah. meh. Grant with the hot dog and the mustard. Oh my god! And like he just like seems, I'm mean, like he just seems so sad. Like I he's, know. he's unemployed. He comes in and is like, let's eat this hot dog. And it's like, <laughs> did you make your entrance about food because you haven't eaten in a while, Hunter? Are you okay? <laughs> Do you need help? <laughs> I mean, like, this is a cry. It's like, it almost seems like a cry for help more so than he wants to be on The <laughs> God, Bachelorette. That's so funny. I feel like he thought in his head, like, this is going to be so funny, but didn't realize when he took a huge bite of hot dog that he was going to be chewing it for, like, fucking 30 minutes. Yeah. And I was like, why is this guy's mouth full yeah. still? Yeah. It was bad. Oh, oh my god, it Grant. was so bad. Yeah. Then we had Jonathan. He was pretty cute. He came in with the pizza. The pizza. Yeah, yeah that, was, that nice. was cute. She I had a big bite. That. Yeah. 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 yeah pizza my that heart. Cute. That was adorable. Kevin with the football fumble. Yeah, the fumbled intro was yeah. like cute. I it was cute, know. but I, was, I didn't get it. I was like, I don't Because he fumbled it. I think it makes more sense when you realize that she's from Tuscaloosa. Because like that town is a a, football is their religion like everything is about football and so i think that it probably landed better with hannah than it did with any of us that's fair because i would say that like i like that one but you were like i was stupid and i was like yeah but like roll tide so like it makes sense i guess it was meh for me i mean if hannah likes it that's great yeah luke p our possible villain of the episode Mm -hmm. he was from Mm -hmm. after the final rose he Mm -hmm. did the beast mode jump on the top of the limo He's definitely yeah. a front runner. Absolutely. Definitely a front runner. Yeah. Unfortunately. He said, yeah. would you, I'm looking from the queen to my king of the jungle. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That was kind of hilarious, but like not, it was just like a very cheesy line. Like it was yeah. not like a. But I will say, I feel like he could get away with that because he had already met her. So like when they were showing mm. the previews and I didn't realize it was him, they were showing him doing like the gorilla thing on top yeah. of the car. I was like, wow, this guy is going home. And yeah. then I realized they've already met and so she he's probably got a little bit more wiggle room than most people absolutely would. i think that's so true yep, yep, yep. um next was another luke i literally wrote nothing down for him yeah no i think he'll, <laughs> i think he'll go relatively far he has like a different look than the other guys so i think the producers will want to keep him around just for like shall i say diversity even though he's a white guy yeah like, yeah like he's just a no, different he, looking white guy no he and jed look very similar uh, i feel like okay. he's the okay. fucking okay. evan well, bass of this yeah season. Oh, 100%. yeah so even yeah. like jed is like like muscly but luke is like the non-muscly kind of yeah guy. like the will the we- like uh will i'm uh, not wills wells i thought yes. he looks like wells absolutely not wills i love wills wills is the best yeah. Oh my god, Dustin, yeah, he was also from After the Final Rose. Yes. If you guys can believe it, this is our fucking 26th guy. It's like, Jesus oh my god. Christ. There's so, so many. There's many so people. many. Yeah. I How think can you find this many, like, generic people? I do not know. I do not know. I think Dustin will go 
relatively far just because he's different. He kind of reminds me of the guy with the long hair that turned out to be kind of problematic. That was like the stunt guy. Leo. 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 Oh my god, good ref, good ref. Yeah. I loved how he was wearing those white Converse with the. Me too. Yeah. That was yeah. my note. Was that I really yeah. like the shoes? Well yeah, like with like that a was like pant. a really subtle way to stand out. If that makes sense. Like, yeah, a just navy made him a suit. Bit different. Yeah, with different shoes. Yeah, mm-hmm. don't you don't have to go full white suit. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I believe he did. Let me he see check. He did. Yeah, he did. Okay. Our next guy was Cam. Boo. He fucking rapped. Yeah. Ugh, he's so great. And he kind of gave, I thought, a non-consensual hug. Yep. Yes. Like, he kind of ambushed her, and I was like, this is not cool. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Always be cringy. Yeah. Yeah, oh my god, that's so amazing. True. He's the guy that has the catchphrase of always be Cam, and he had a rose from after the final rose. I know. I don't get why she okay, likes Cam. Okay, I will say though, um, interesting about the hug comment because in my notes I have that like, because he was the first kiss, and he actually asked her before he kissed her, and it seemed to me like he actually waited for her to respond because sometimes they're like, can I kiss you? And then they're just like going right in for it. Yeah. And he kind of like waited for her to answer and then kiss okay, her. So, so maybe like, he learned. I did appreciate that moment, yeah. but I'm still not a camp. I don't think he, no. I think he just like is very keen, but I think that he's not. He was just excited and yeah. nervous yes. probably that yeah. he didn't do that on yeah. purpose. Although, yeah, I will give him that. As yeah. I have said previously, he kind of gives me the vibes of like he would yes. be super problematic and bigoted on Instagram. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If like, you have a catchphrase ABC. He seems ABC, like he has like, like a 4chan account. Like, oh you know. No. Oh, yeah, no. We're out on ABC. Yeah, yeah, out on ABC. I do yeah. not like him. Jury's out. Um, oh, okay. oh, our beloved Matt Donald came out. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Matt Donald. Oh, yeah. I'm back on the Matt Donald. <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah. <laughs> He's just too cute. You can't get... I know. He was really cute. And I really loved when they were singing and then it was like, here, bro, there, bro. And then they were like, we're here, whatever that they was did. Cute. It was really cute. Was... Then we had the 29th and 30th was Chasen and Peter, the two pilots. Yeah, the two pilots. Right. The battle of the pilots. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. This is what I was saying is Chasen like walks in and is like, oh, they love a girl in uniform. And then he didn't wear his uniform. I I'm know. Like, and then mistake, the next guy bro. wears his uniform. Mm-hmm. Rookie mistake. Yeah. yeah. I liked when the, the one that wore the, I think Peter wore Peter the. Peter wore the uniform. Yeah. yeah. When yes. he walked into the room and he's like. Jason's like, fuck, there's another pilot. And he wore his uniform? Like, fuck. And yeah. I was like, Like, Aw. yeah, you you messed up. Like, yeah. why yeah. did you not wear your uniform? Like, yeah. clearly that's what you should have done. Yeah. And I just, again, think it's, like, so producer, yeah. like, orchestrated where they both come out back I to think, back. like, aren't there a lot of, like, it's not, like, like, a huge profession, but, like, I feel like there's a lot of pilots out there. He was like, oh, another pilot? There's yeah. only 10 of us. Like, yeah. No, like, yeah. there's lots of pilots. Also, there's, yeah. like, I feel like it's pretty common profession for, like, bachelor contestants. Or bachelor yeah. contestants. So, Absolutely. Like, there have been lots of pilots before. And that one bachelor was a pilot, Yeah, right? mm-hmm. yeah. Whatever yeah. I was going to say, because... Was it... J- it was a Jake Peralta or not? Pra- <laughs> <laughs> I oh, wish. Yeah. No, good Jake. Good B nine nine ref. Sign me up for that. Yeah, <laughs> literally, Jake. No, Jake. Um, um, Jake Pavelka. Yes. Oh my god, that's so funny. Oh my god. Jake Peralta. Oh my god, that's a B nine, a Brooklyn Nine Nine <laughs> reference. If you didn't get that. The best. Oh my god, that's so funny. Yeah, and I will say that like they talked about realness, which I think is going to be the new and like version of like this season is yeah. like opening it up and being real. Like, yes. that's yes. going to be, like, Hannah's through line. Like, that's yes. her yes. arc like, is, like, can you be authentic? And, like, yeah. it's the thing that Chris Harrison will say more than a million times. Yeah, and, like, absolutely. It's just, like, going to be all they talk about. Yeah. So. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah, I think they talked about that with Peter. And I think that, like, is a good sign that he's going to go pretty far. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely think he'll go far, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we finally... Are the limo oh my God. Oh, 30 seems like a lot. Is it always 30? No, it's usually 25. This is a lot yeah, of Yeah, 30 is a lot. I it's really lot. think... I think that they hedge their bets because of Bachelor in Paradise. They want more... Yeah. Mm. It's because it's basically like a test group. Like, the, yeah. in, like we... Like, Jason right now is blowing up. He's the next grocery store Joe. So now people know, oh, we should bring him to, like, Bachelor in Paradise. Right. Yeah. But I think that it's just way too much for a premiere. Hannah actually gave a surprisingly good speech at the beginning. 
I thought because I was good. concerned when she has yeah. time to think about it and has a producer at her back. Yeah. She's really, really good. She is. I honestly think that we're not going to see that after the final rose thing anymore because, like, just, like... Because that's the type of thing where they... I, I really don't like the direction that they're going with the series. It's almost like with... I don't remember whose season it was. I think it was Ben's where they're like, and you could get married right now. And it's yeah. like, they push this stuff on them yeah. so yeah. hard yeah. to yeah. try to get it to be, like, big TV on live TV. And I'm like... Yeah. And they're always like, I don't know about this, man. Yeah. Like, this is a lot. And I really hate that they do that Same. like they're really leaning into that the more the whole watch party thing was just like oh my god it was painful care. yeah like i liked in previous seasons where they showed like three minutes of chris harrison like visiting watch parties in different cities yeah. and it was like cool we know there's like millions of people watching this it's fun it's like something that we can talk about and like enjoy but when it was showing like all of the old contestants and some of them were boring as hell, and it was just like all these random people. I'm like, I don't want to watch two hours of this. Like, not at boring. all. Not at all. Yeah, and I think that the producers are leaning too much into gimmicky stuff. Yeah. Whereas, yeah. like, before, I feel like the drama happened in not a natural way, but like just because of the way that the show is set up. Yeah. It just yeah. kind of like It seems happened. like they're reaching a little bit. Like to try to get something new totally, and totally, totally. Which I guess maybe they have to do. It's like the show has been on for almost twenty years. Yeah. Speaking of new and different, can we talk about the spy van? Yes. Yes. Oh my god. I yes. actually loved the spy van so much. I was Same. like this is hilarious. Same. There was a part of me at the beginning that was like, oh my god, this is so creepy that they're spying on them as I was watching this unfold on national <laughs> yeah, television yeah. was like oh cool cool cool, cool, cool. Yeah. this is this is not that creepy that's they so already got the cameras everybody knows they're on camera plus it was hannah's friends which was really fun like it i was. think it was helpful for her to have them there supporting her totally. and like it was fun to watch yeah. yeah i will say like hannah's friends i love this like whole like we've been through the bachelor so now we are best friends forever and it was like mm. was she even really that close with demi <laughs> yeah i know <laughs> I know, and like Katie, like where did yeah. that come from? Yeah. I even, I genuinely, the reason I did not say Katie's name just now was because, because yeah, I had forgetting. forgotten Katie's name. Oh my god, I that's love Demi, so funny. I, love I know. Demi. I feel like they're like, how can we get Demi back on this season? Yeah, yes. she's yeah. so good on Instagram. She's Again, so though, they're so smart because then it persists these storylines. So yeah, when yeah. Demi's in BIP, yeah, yeah, everyone still remembers so her. So invested. Yeah. 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 yeah, but I love the spy van. I think oh, that. So good. It's good to involve their friends yeah. earlier in the process and their Agreed. family because yeah. it sets them up for better success. Yeah, mm-hmm. 100%. Yeah. I loved how serious Demi got about it. She was so She was serious. like, she was like, is that him? Is that him? I don't know. I don't know. And she was like, so like laser focused in she on it was. too. I loved that. She was so, so... Do you guys think that that was set up? Like, do you think that... Yes. Yeah, well, even just, yeah. like, scrolling through the pictures, Scott is obviously the least attractive of all of them. <laughs> yeah, that's like, so yeah. true. He, he is, is clearly there because they were like, oh, you have uh, you have us on again, off again. I bet that was, like, a on again, off again relationship for seven years. And he brought it up in his interview tape. And he was like, I have this thing, him. but, like, whatever. Yeah. I want to, like, start fresh with Bachelor. And they were like, yeah. ka-ching. Yeah, <laughs> they're like, you're, you're signed to Oh, uh, yeah, delivered. we think yeah. that you are here for the right reasons. Yeah, like, no. we know you're a night I mean, one it was boot. pretty obvious, though, because, like, as soon as they went in with video, like, to the spy van, yeah. Daddy <laughs> immediately was like, so I got this message on instagram today and it was like yeah okay sure yeah, <laughs> yeah like i'm sure that you're you, yeah someone dm'd you today exactly yeah, yeah. a producer before we knew that DMs. you were gonna be on the show yeah like how do they know that demi was gonna be on the exactly. show exactly okay i think now that we're talking about the spy van we should just jump into the scott debacle oh yes. yeah 100%. it was okay it was so funny when they pulled hannah and they're like what do you think of scott and she did the like I like Scott. Like, that was her, like, yeah. cadence. Yeah, yes. I like, like him. Yeah, mm. and I was like, you don't know who he is. And you... <laughs> like, when she stormed back in, she was probably like, 
Scott, I need <laughs> to speak with you. But just looking. Yeah. And then just being like, which one's going to stand oh, up? I oh, it's that one. Absolutely loved how she just like walked in there. Oh, but yeah. was like, Scott, yeah. we need to go. Let's go do she this thing. Savage. She does not yeah. give a fuck. fuck. And I love it. I loved when he was like, is this a good talk or like a bad talk? And I was like. Clearly it's a bad talk, yeah. Scott. Read the room. Wake up, Scott. Everyone else knows that it was fucking bad. Like it was so funny. Is this a good talk? No, Scott. No. This no. isn't a good... I hate it when he was like, you can be upset with me if you want, or I guess you can get upset with me if you want. And it was like, stop gaslighting her. Like, he you was are straight, being a dick here. Like, yes, what he the was fuck? straight up gaslighting her. Yeah. It was like, were you dating this woman this week? And he was like, well, like, what do you consider dating and stuff like that? It's- uh, I hate that. I always like, whenever they have these types of conversations too, I'm like, one, this is the most high school thing of all time. I cannot handle it right now. Like, yeah. I mean, like, we were, like, seeing each other, but we weren't dating. I wasn't falling in love. I was just, like, Yeah, and I was like, does she know that? It yeah. It's like, no, what are you talking about? Like, Yeah, we were just God. seeing each other. Like, it wasn't, like, exclusive or anything. It, yeah. it was a bad look. Actually, I've been seeing a lot of stuff on the internet. Like, Ashley Spivey, she was on, I think she was on Jake's season or maybe Sean Lowe's season, Mm -hmm. she was saying that apparently a lot of contestants dump their significant others, like, days before. Like, that that's, like, a pretty, like... Really? That's rough. Yeah, yeah. That is rough. Yeah, like, apparently, like, if it's a relationship where they're like, I like this person, but, like, I don't see it going long term. Right. Yeah. They'll just dump the person. Or I've even, um, Nick Vile was on the Bachelor Party podcast today and he was talking about how people have been through the casting process, hadn't met anyone, but since it takes so long, they've met someone in that time and then they call them up months later and like, hey, are you still interested in The Bachelor? And then they're like, oh my God, like, should I dump this person Mm. or should I go on the show for like fame opportunities right Right. which maybe is what scott did right and then i'll just go back to like babe it's fake like i just need like i need this for my business or whatever and then they go back to their partner and it's like this is a fucking lose lose that is such a lose lose it was it was so so rough i will also say that scott did not handle literally any part of that well like no one like just like gave it up immediately he's like no i haven't i mean yeah we were dating on monday yeah i saw her on monday like i don't know what to tell like apparently this was taped on thursday hilarious so he had like a a couple day turnaround (laughs) but i just find like it always shocks me that these people are shocked yeah because i'm like with social media nowadays like you can't get away with this fucking shady shit yeah she was on your story like three days ago like we're gonna know about it yeah it's like someone's gonna find out somebody's gonna have the receipts of that like for sure like when people when this happened on like fucking jillian harris's season it's like i get it that you thought you could get away with that were you paging another boy yeah yeah Yeah. but it's like no this like nowadays you can't get away with that type of shit no no it was that was hilarious also i think the best ending to that was when all the guys were like shut up shut up shut up and they all just like sat there like yeah, yeah she like walks back in the room and she's like silent, silent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was so funny and she just like yeah right on through and like, then he was yeah. like kind of like lingering and she was like no come on like she wanted yeah. him to like physically like, like a dog like yeah. let's go boy come yeah. on because when we were like when she was when they were leaving i was like oh my god she's walking him out why is she and i was like oh no she's escorting him out yes she is seeing him to the door yes like, i was like don't goodbye. waste your time but then yes. i was like she needs to she's know literally that he's like gone. kicking him out of the yeah. house which yeah is great. Hilarious. yeah and i do feel bad for some of the guys that don't get a lot of time because they're like this took up an hour yeah, yeah. and if you're filming for like eight hours or whatever yeah. yeah and there's 30 guys that she has to talk to yeah, yeah. there's no. just not enough time and i mean they definitely. clearly filmed through the whole night like in the the things where they're saying oh no i'm leaving it's yeah. like it's definitely like, like five, it's full six day a.m six yeah. seven like, a.m it's so funny because usually like in previous seasons they would like try to hide that that yeah. fact yeah and now they like don't care yeah but it's so funny like it wasn't even like dawn like it was like yeah, full, it was full on, on daytime the a.m yeah. Yeah. yeah it was insane the only other kind of notes that I wrote is that I loved the bachelorette party 
Yes. Yeah, that and part was great. Cute. I thought it was super cute. I like when they do an activity that's like super not like left. Like it's not like a stretch. Yeah. Like let's play with play doh. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, nah, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah, but I I thought that that was very cute. That I they thought that one was her. very cute. I thought yeah. that was a really good one. And yeah. it also suited her. Like it was really cute when he did the little like he had the little tiara. For I her. know. I was like she's gonna love that. Like he, I feel like yeah. he planned it for her. Like yeah. it Same. felt very like yeah. It's Same. Her. And she did light up. When yeah. It was like a good thing. That was a good thing. Yeah. If I was the Bachelorette. I, Connor would be my front runner. Definitely. But like mm-hmm. I'm not. <laughs> and and yeah. she is. And yeah. yikes. The only other note that I had was that I think Luke, by being as proactive as he was that night, because he was also the one that went yes. out and talked to her after. Yes. Oh I my think that goodness. was a good move. I think that was It's a literally a play. fucking tale as old as time yeah. where the villain is the guy that is yeah, gets her a glass of wine. Goes and con- like consoles her after Just the like Scott Chad thing. Chad did the same thing. Absolutely, mm-hmm. and she didn't know that he was like kind of terrifying. Uh, yes, because he was so nice to her. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, and like being like I'm misunderstood and stuff like that. Yeah, but literally, I fu- it's so funny how just as soon as Luke P grabs her at the beginning of the night, right after her speech and stuff like yeah. that, all the little guys like they start talking, and it's yeah. just like it's it's like how many times have I seen this? Yeah. And also, it's just so stupid because it's like someone has to go first. Like, aren't you I glad know. that you didn't like all like wait around for five minutes, like trying to figure out who's gonna go first? Like, we've started the process. This is yeah, yeah. Let's you gotta like, go for it. And it's like, have you watched the show? Yeah. It's like fucking clockwork. It's so. Yeah. I just I find it interesting. I want to know if like bachelor fans that get on the show and like really know the show, like, do they get mad about these type of things? Like, do they fall into know. that trap? Because... I don't know. I feel like maybe it's different when you're in it, but, like, I can't see how it could possibly be. Because like, it's, I like, just... it's literally happens every single season. Every yeah. single season. So, so it's, yeah, like, how like... can you be mad about that? But yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous. I always, like, laugh because I'm, like, how have you never, do you not think about this yeah. at all? Like, it's so funny. It's just, like, when later in the season they're, like, I can't deal with the fact that he's dating another guy. And it's like, you're on the bachelor. I know, like, I know, I know, I know. And again, I mean, I it's think like, it's don't you know the premise? That and they're like, you know what? I can't, like, keep going because this doesn't work for me and I'm going to leave. Like, that's cool. great. But if you're yeah. just going to complain about it and stay, it's like, you just keep it to yourself at that point. It's like that's the element known. that you guaranteed that you knew. Yes. Yeah. Like there's tons of stuff that probably surprised you, but it's yeah. like that's the one element that you can count on. Yeah. That there's going to be other, be other people. Yeah. Every, yeah. yeah. I did like that. Season. The one woman from Colton season who left because of that reason. Yeah. She was like, yeah. I thought I could do it and I can't. So peace. Like I yeah. was like, yeah, that's, that's, that's the way you mean. should do it. That's like, how you that's should it. frame it. I yeah. hate when it's like they're like shocked that this is happening. Are like mad at the like the yeah it's like how dare you be have feelings for that person it's like well that's the whole point of the show show yeah i also think like when luke p went and um checked in on hannah after the scott debacle Mm -hmm. um again the guys were like shocked well it's like well are you just jealous that you didn't think of that yeah like or did a producer say hey we need someone to check in on like Luke, why don't you go check in on Hannah? Yeah. Yeah. The cynical part of me is like the producer pulled him aside and was like, "Hey, you should go check on Hannah." Yeah, like, like she's out by the pool. Like, yeah, go yeah. talk go, to go, her. Go, 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 yeah, go. yeah. Like, I honestly think that could have happened because they were all sitting on the couch. Yeah, yes. so they, they, they were probably like, "Can you guys, you know, wait here for a second? And yeah. then they're like, and then of course one of the guys was like, "Oh." Where's Luke? Like, yeah. they're just like, it's like clockwork. Yeah. Clockwork. It's so funny. It was very classic. It's like, I'm sure you noticed in all 30 people where Luke was at that yeah. given point. So her first kiss was ABC Cam. Yeah. Yeah. And then Connor S. And yeah. then Luke P. Yeah. Are you guys surprised? I am. Any of those people? I, I'm not surprised that Cam kissed her. I am a little, like, just peeved because I don't like Cam. Yeah. Um, I was genuinely surprised at connor yeah me too i, me too, but I was like happy about it though because i want him to oh wait no is this connor s yeah, yeah this connor is connor s. jk 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 yeah i take that back no connor j did Sorry. not kiss her connor s was like i was like oh okay oh, sure oh yeah connor s is a justin bieber fan though 
<laughs> Connor S is the the one contestant that I wrote nothing down for. He, he was, oh no, that was the Luke fence S. jumper. The fence jumper. Oh, he was the fence jumper. <laughs> He's the fence jumper. Okay, I'm okay with Connor S. Yeah, it was like kind of cute. I didn't think that he'd earned the kiss. No. No, like Cam had met her before, and same with yeah. Luke. Yeah. So I kind of get that I there was like that. some type of like. Well, and Luke also got the first impression rose, and I think the first impression rose generally does get a kiss. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like after yeah. she gives it to him. Yeah, that was pretty normal. I will say of all of the kisses, Luke's was the best kiss. It definitely It definitely was. seems it like was. the most like impassioned. It was yes. spicy. It yeah, was it was like spicy. the other ones were just kind of like I guess normal first kisses, but his was like Yeah. Yeah. I would say Connor's <laughs> they was were like ready to jump each gross. other. Yeah. I know, which is like kind of gross that I'm we're talking about this. I find I don't know why, but like Tori, we're watching The Bachelorette. I know, to... I know. <laughs> like, yeah, we're gonna have to like dive into this, but yes, yeah, yes. it was spicy. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm curious. Who is yeah. your pick? My winner pick. Yeah. yeah. This is you guys are excited. Don't be. It's <laughs> it's honestly just Luke P. Luke P. Yeah, I think it is okay. just because I think okay, like. It could be a red herring that he got the first impression, Rose. But I just think with the track record that the women have with picking those guys, I think it's him. Yeah. Robin? My pick is Peter the pilot. I think he's, (gasps) like, very sweet. I will say that I I hear what you were saying before about, like, maybe he's, like, a closet closet bigot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, (laughs) so far... I think Hannah likes him, and he seems, like, very sweet for the most part. And he's, like, he just seems a lot more chill than a lot of the other guys. Like, he doesn't, he's not really engaging the other guys to, like, start any drama or anything. That's a good point. So he's my pick to go far at this point. And he did get the last limo exit. Mm -hmm. And that first and last ones. And he got an intro package. He did. So, Mm -hmm. yeah, Yeah. good call. Yeah. Good call. Mason, who's your winner? Pat? I also had Luke P. I'm on the fence about Luke P. and Peter Pilot. I think that either of them could pull it out. I don't know. It seems like Luke P. had the two on one from yeah, the the preview. Season preview. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think that a person that's ever been on a two on one has ever. Won. No, I don't they always so put like the so joke people. I think <laughs> that that is a danger sign for him. Yeah, but I, I agree also with think that, that like. I think Hannah really likes him, unfortunately. Yeah, Yeah. it is unfortunate. Yeah, but that's, like, generally the people that I like for the people are not the, are, like, always the ones that win. Where I'm like, no, don't pick him, he's the worst. And then it's like, that's the person they pick. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That happens to be all him, like, Garrett. Or, like, Um, Rachel with, uh, what's um, his face? Brian. Uh, Brian. Um, Uh. On a, like, similar note, though. When JoJo picked Jordan in her season, I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And now they're my fave Bachelor couple. Yeah, I that's like, very fair. I watch them on YouTube. Like, they're yep. so cute. And they seem like they've built, like, a legitimate relationship. Like, yep. the YouTube videos that I've watched from them, they've been, like, super open. And they were like, it was so hard the first year. Like, people were saying that Jordan was cheating on her. Yep. And, like... They had, like, all these blowout fights, and then they were like, you know what, let's just do this. And now they're, like, actually planning their wedding and, like, seem really happy. And I'm like, oh, I'm so happy for them. Yeah, I, I do like agree with that. Lot. Yeah. And I actually like Jordan a lot more now than I did. I do. Same, did because before. when yeah. I first, when she first picked him, I was like, great, yeah. another six-month relationship. Yeah. But look, now it's, like, three years later. Yeah. So. yeah that one was, uh, like, I think that, I think that's the most successful of the recent relationships. Yes, yes. Yeah. I agree. The most surprising still to me is that Brian and Rachel are together. And planning yeah. their wedding. And their wedding. Like, together. literally getting married, like, this August. Yeah. 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 It's so, so weird to me. It's so weird. It is. It's very odd. It should have been not... Peter. It's so, so it weird. Been Peter. It should have been Peter. Did you guys have any other thoughts on... Who went home? Joe, Ryan, Matt, Donald, Chasen, Thomas, Brian, Hunter. I can't mm. wait to see Matt Donald on VIP. He's I know. I'm great. already ready. Yeah. He's, he's going to be so Like, good. I'm ready. Yeah. 
The only other thing that I thought was hilarious is that Hannah still cannot pin the roses on the guys. Yeah. She struggles oh so God. hard. It's like, girl, practice. I know. And they're magnets. Yeah. They're not pins, girl. You could I definitely know. ask a producer to let you practice with one of those roses. I know. I know. I totally get that. I know. That was so funny. And they did, again, they didn't edit that shit out. They kept it. It was so funny. <laughs> Oh, that before, was hilarious. In, our, in the pod pre-show, we were talking about how there was a video of Chris Harrison, like, sweeping up the peanuts yes, from the giant package, yes. like, arrival. We loved it that. It was so funny. Yeah. Like, we know that he didn't clean the whole thing, Yeah, but it was still fun to watch. I still, like, had, like, an audible laugh. Yeah. Like, yeah. like I actually, like, really liked that. It was that so funny. That was hilarious. Any thoughts on the preview scenes Ooh, from the season? I think that it looks... It looks good. So good. Yeah, I'm like, I am, and they they got me. They yep. got me. Every I single time. That, like, I, I am sold. absolutely shook about the I've had sex and Jesus still loves me moment. Same. I was like, I yes, am girl, he living. does. And like last yes. season with the the fence hop, and it happened like at the very end. As I, know. I knew it would, but I was like waiting for it the whole time, and I'm gonna be the same way with yes. this. I'm like, same. Waiting. Yes. Same. I want to know so bad who it is. Yeah. Same, and also it's like funny how she was like caught in the rain or something when that happened, her hair is soaking wet. Yeah. It looks so fucking good. Oh my gosh, yeah, I, I so can't it, wait. I cannot wait. It's so funny, yeah, it's like every season I'm like, I'm dreading this, and then I'm like, like, oh my god, <laughs> like, yeah. more, please. Yeah, I'm so yeah. so roping us it. back in. Yeah, they, they did the really classic, do. like, oh, somebody, like, got angry and hit, hurt somebody yeah. when clearly they were doing a physical exercise and the person just got hurt. Oh my gosh, I, I know. know. They always show an <laughs> ambulance. And it's I always, know. like, they're Kate. playing sports or whatever. I know. But remember when that guy fell off a bunk bed? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, like, yeah. seriously messed up his face. Yeah, and Kirpa last year with the chin oh. on the yeah. Do we ever find out what happened with her in the random band aid that just appeared? They yeah, on Instagram, she um, was just walking along the beach and slipped on like a wet rock. <laughs> yeah, and it was like one of her like uh, one of their like off days. So they were, yeah, it was so funny how that just like a huge face facial band aid. I would just up. feel like that is on the producer for not being like, hey, ask her about the band aid. Hey, ask her. We need footage of explaining the band-aid. Can you just ask her yeah, about like the band-aid? Yeah, like Colton just be like, Why don't you just ask her about the band-aid? Yeah. I'm You'll sure there was somebody like in his ear like, ask her about the band-aid, ask her about the band-aid. Please, just like, we need that footage. You gotta buy bud. You just gotta ask her about the Nope, you're not talking about it. You just gotta ask her. Now it's weird, but you still like, gotta Colton, do it. Can you, Colton, can you hear me? Like, are, are you still with us? Like, ask her about the band-aid. Yep. Earlier this week, I asked from our Instagram followers what their thoughts on the episode was. I'm laughing because the only person that responded was Dana. <laughs> friend, Thanks, Dana. Friend of the pod. Too funny. Recent guest. Of Recent the pod. guest of the pod. Yeah. Um, she has another episode coming out this week. But anyways, she submitted two questions. If you guys have thoughts or comments um, or questions about Bachelorette, send them my way. We'd love to answer those. Her questions for us were, what the fuck is wrong with her letting John Paul Jones stay? He's an obby frat fuck boy. Yep. And I'm like, dude, have you ever watched this show? She clearly Seriously. has never seen it. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> he's clearly a producer pick that's going to stay till episode three and then be voted out. Yeah. Or not voted out. Yeah. I, I just watched Survivor. He'll be Survivor. voted off the island. Yeah. yeah. He'll snuff his torch and he'll be gone. Yeah. Well, he won't receive a rose. Yeah. No, he will not. He's frat yeah. trash, but... But I'm, have I am, like, honestly kind of excited to see what kind of trash Tra- he is. Though. Yeah, like, like he's going to be funny. He like, has. he's going to be fun. Anybody yeah. that it leans this hard into John Paul Jones <laughs> is going to be funny. Like, I think he's just going to be funny. I bet he'll sell, like, a lot of t-shirts or something. That, says, like, John Paul that Jones. actually would be a hilarious John shirt Paul to Jones, have. John Paul Jones, JPJ. Yeah. JPJ. Yeah. John Paul Jones. <laughs> Her other question for us was... As a non-fan, why do people like this show? These guys seem despo and weird. And my response is, as a fan, I have no idea. (laughs) I don't know why we're watching it. It's so bad, but I love it. Literally, it's so bad. Like, we, like, hate watch it. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. We hate well, watch like, it. Well, like I say, I hate watch it, but I actually love, love hate. Watch. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I also like follow them all on Instagram and like yeah. am super invested in their lives. Same, yeah. same, so... same. 
Ooh. And, like, the thing is, is, like, I know how problematic it is, but, like, I still just, like, I'm, I'm like, it's Bachelor season. Like, sometimes Roll you time. just gotta turn Roll off time. your brain and watch The Bachelor, Bachelorette, yeah. and just enjoy it for what it is. Absolutely. Yeah. Complete trash yeah. Yeah. is what it is. Yeah, so, and we know all the guys are garbage, but, like, yeah. also, like, it's just kind of funny. And, and some gems. Some nice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, sometimes Colton turned gems. out to be a gem. Yeah. I would yeah. say he's a genuinely nice. good guy. Absolutely. Yeah. And there, I think there's a bunch of them that have actually turned out to be, like, like I love Kevin. He was from Bachelor Canada. And then he was mm. on Bachelor in Paradise. He ended up with Astrid. Oh, he's the firefighter. Oh, yeah. I fucking love Kevin. Yeah, oh, he's really? great. Like, love. Yeah. And yeah. he's so, like, stereotypical Canadian boy. And yeah. I just, like, love him. So yeah. there are some gems out there. The grocery really? store Joe and Kendall is, like, yeah, the m- cute. best love story ever. Like, it's yeah. so cute. Yeah. Okay, I don't know if this is a controversial opinion because um, I know everyone hates Ari and I'm not an Ari fan. Neither. But I am following along Lauren's pregnancy. Same. And they honestly look so happy together. I know. And like I'm following her literal. They have like an Instagram for her baby bump. Same. And I'm following it and I'm like, I'm fucking loving these updates. Like I'm kind of happy that Becca like first of all didn't end up with Ari because that was not a good match and it no. seems like he and Lauren actually are so I'm like I'm happy about them yeah, yeah. I don't know yeah. I she still think a... Ari's garb but same like, same yeah. but she's also like I don't know I have made my peace with that <laughs> yes <laughs> and honestly she has one of the most aesthetically pleasing and beautiful oh, Instagrams yes. and yeah. their the wedding the only thing about their thing is like I think that is hugely curated I don't know if the yes. they're the kind of Instagram that I'm like they're not actually happy they're Instagram happy like, that's I true hope that's I hope that they're happy baby, I hope that they're but... happy too I do but I also don't yes. think that Ari is actually that like I don't think he's invested like I don't well like I think he's the kind of guy that is not going to be an equal partner parent no no I agree I think that they have like a very like what I would say is like a very traditional relationship yes. in like the worst way of like he's like the breadwinner husband and she's yeah. gonna be like uh, like kind of I don't want to use the word obedient, but like she's like yeah, to be his wife, like, yes. in all of those. It's whatever a very, it means. very, very like, heteronormative. It relationship. is yeah. absolutely, and I think that also they're the type of relationship where they're okay with this superficial. Like it doesn't yes. seem yeah. like their love has a lot of depth, and I no. think yeah. that they're both okay with that. Yeah, like True. they want an Instagram happy, perfect yeah. Yeah. life, which is why I think he and Becca like would never have worked. No, because she, she wants more been, like, than that. Oh, no, yeah. I don't. Then like how you. did she? up with Garrett. Garrett. It's so oh, weird. Yes. I love her so much and hate him so much. Yeah. It's so weird because it's like he clearly is such a just like a dick. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck boy. Like, yeah. Seriously. And he's like, yeah. I've learned, but I'm like, but if you're learning at 30, aren't you just still trash? <laughs> like, <laughs> if you didn't well, if you're develop that this, like, much, like morals, that was like. He yeah. was, that stuff he was posting was actually vile. Like, it was disgusting. It's disgusting. And, okay, that's like, a, okay, it's like one thing to have those thoughts, but two things to think that it's okay to project them out into the world. Yeah. Like, it's <laughs> disgusting to have those thoughts, but I feel like it's extra disgusting to be like, it's okay to publicly, like, affirm this affirm yeah. this yeah. I think that's it for our bachelor recap that was insane our bachelor recap is the same time span as the episode <laughs> there was and I feel like we didn't even talk about <laughs> yeah. so much stuff oh yeah too funny yeah cause we didn't even really talk about their convos no, no. but like d- I think that says something it about does. what the convos are like <laughs> that's the reason we watch is not the relationship it's the drama absolutely yeah. absolutely thank you guys so much for coming on oh, thanks, thanks for having, having us a blast this, this was great yeah. this is my first time hosting two guests at the same time yeah yeah well. you did a good job not talking over each other thank yeah you. i know i know i always have that i know i have the worst habit of that <laughs> whenever i re-listen i'm like yikes <laughs> Do people like episodes like this where we recap a, a TV show in insane details? Detail. In excruciating details? Let us know. What do you think of Hannah's The Bachelor? Who's your winner pick? Those are all things that we want to know and discuss. So get in touch with us. You can follow Robin at on Instagram at Tiny Beanstalk and Mason at the underscore Southern underscore Canadian. Hit him up. 
Yeah. You're not going to get any followers. Like, I might get one. You know. You, after this, you'll have critical acclaim. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, maybe in the future, though. I'm going to oh. add podcaster to my rep. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, thanks for having us on. This was super fun. Oh, anytime. You're welcome to come back. I know you guys have tons of petty shit to talk about. <laughs> that is I yeah. Am yeah. so petty. Same, same, same. And that's why mm. this works out so well. So well. <laughs> so if you like what you hear, you can listen to Ready to Be Petty each week on every podcast app out there. You can follow along on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at RTBP Podcast. And we always want to hear from you. Let us know what you think about The Bachelorette. As always, I'm Tori and I'm ready to be petty. See you soon.